Bro, I forgot to start out with a song. Hold up, 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 hold up. Tell me all I see. Huh? What? Uh, I thought a bro nigga said something. Uh, Talk of shit, but they still ain't saying nothing. Ain't saying we gon' trap this bitch out till the feds come. Run it up, run it up. Huh? What she say? Uh, I thought a pussy hoe said something. Uh, I go when I'm talking, you listen. Jealous. Cut her off cause she spoke on the business. Go. Hundreds and fifties. Can't swap a dime for a penny. You know that's a stupid decision. Yep. Head first with it. I shot a shot at my nigga, bitch. Really didn't think before I did it. Nope. Make it make sense. Please. Luckily, I was on point with the last hoe. Kept my receipts. Why? Warned to good. Make sure I got her for a refund when I gave her back to the streets. Go. Forever. I rip, put the set on the chain. I'm thugging you. Hello, everybody flooding in. You already know how I count. Yeah. yeah, he got money, but niggas be lying. I lambo the light, told her get out there, rain. Her manny and pick. Happy fucking Sunday. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Sunday? Last day of the weekend. Bit an F, bit of an F in the chat for that, right? Sundays kind of suck. Because it's no longer Saturday and it's Monday tomorrow, which means that we have to go back to doing regular shit. However, Sundays are react days. Which is a reverse dub. Which is a reverse dub. Same color my teeth. White. She got a blue chick and a chick without me. Nice hood nigga riding in the phone on East Hill. Sick of these nigga COVID-19. Uh. Karate the walk and trying to keep the cup. Shake came. Somebody said... Joe, the Jake Paul fight. Are you going to watch the Jake Paul Tommy Fury fight? Isn't that going on right now? Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure that's going, like, they're fighting right now. I think the main, it's scripted. I didn't even, I didn't even buy the fight. I ain't even going to watch the fight. Yo, this is what we're going to do, okay? Because it's react day. I'm going to be reacted for about three, four hours, right? So that fight will end at some point during this stream. What y'all are going to do is you're just going to let me know who won, okay? That's all I give a fuck about. It, that's all I care about. That's the only goddamn thing I give a shit about. And then tomorrow we'll, we'll, watch, we'll watch a clip of the fight. Isn't it copyrighted? Yeah. You think I'm going to react to the fucking fight? Dude, I would get sued. If I reacted to the Jake Paul fight, they would sue the fuck out of me. No. And I would get banned on Twitch too. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, we're doing regular reacts today. What we'll do tomorrow is watch a clip of the fight. I'm allowed to do that. Like a highlight clip. They usually upload those on Twitter on their own account. Like immediately after. So I'm allowed to see that. But I can't, today, I can't watch anything of the fights. Uh, why are motherfuckers telling me to take a perk? Like, like, yo, it's getting, it's getting bad, chat, okay? Y'all gotta chill out. Take a hit. Take a hit. Pull out the crack pipe. Pull out the crack pipe. No. What do you mean? My God, I hit a fucking, I hit, I hit my cart like two times on stream once a week. Once a week, maybe. Motherfuckers tell me to do heroin next. Get out of here. No. My God. We got a bunch of reacts, though, today. Let's do a little quick overview of what's in store. So, for the sub, CS for the 400 biddies. W React Day, keep it up. Thank you. Gail for the 300 biddies. Feeling Drew gains the Russian pork and Seb and Flex for the fucking sub. Chat, who do y'all think's going to win for the Jake Paul Tommy Fury fight? Dude, every single fucking fight, I always say whoever the fuck else it is, right? And then and then Jake wins every time. I mean, if Tommy won, that would be that would be fucking amazing, because then Jake's gonna be pissed, and that'll be kind of hilarious. And then there will have to be a match. There'll have to be a second rematch, and then it'll be a whole fucking extravaganza. However, if Jake wins, that's just gonna make everything way worse. And then he's gonna challenge fucking Conor McGregor next or some shit. Jake Paul fight time. Yeah, 2 p.m. EST. Are they not fighting right now? The full fight card. What well, it says 2 p.m. EST, but when when is the main card? They're not fighting yet. Okay, so just the fights themselves have started. All right. Well, here's the rundown of the reacts today. Hold up, my manager texted me. Carson for the sub. Uh, all right. Chat. We're starting out with a movie trailer. We haven't watched one of these in a while. I'm also losing my voice, as you can see. Uh, I made I made a bunch of TikToks yesterday. 
It was it was a, and we were screaming out the ass yesterday. So it was you know it was, it was a bad match. I'm losing my voice again. F in the chat for that. Starting out with a movie trailer though, the boogeyman. Then we're gonna go on to a uh, off brand Darman video. Teacher caught grooming student to be trans. The ending will shock you. Six black men versus one secret white guy. You guys have been sending this video out the fucking ass in my fucking Discord. I have been sent this video in my Discord 50 times. Easy. So we're watching that today. Why tipping is a scam, I'm probably going to disagree with that. The dog from hell, my quest for the worst secret menu item. The problem with nice people, gorilla versus bear, who would win? That's going to be a big debate. The McDonald's McPizza, a huge failure. And Shudder, a short horror film. Does that sound good, chat? Caden for the 300 bitties, unaware for the sub. Gar, Gar Garus for the sub and 2 inch for the 300 bitties. I was coming home last night at 1 a.m. and I got pulled over going 66 and a 45. And the cop pulled me over and didn't give me a ticket. Yo, yo, good shit, 2 inch. You keep getting pulled over going 20 over. Uh, maybe you should go like 100 over. You ever think about that? Dude, the cops, dude, the cops, they just don't, they don't give you a ticket, 2 inch. I mean, you might as well go, like, 50 over, right? Yeah, you might as well. I mean, you might as well just, like, run a red light. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, at that point, you're invincible from the cops. Like, they're just not going to pull you over, right? If they do pull you over, you know, it's whatever. You know, because they're just going to give you a warning. It's not like one day, eventually, they're going to give you a fucking ticket. And you're going to have to appear in court because you went 25 miles an hour. I'll try it today. Yeah, please don't. Stop speeding. Adam for the sub, Larry for the sub. The Boogeyman. Well, this is the only movie trailer we're going to watch today. But it's off a Stephen yeah, King yeah. novel, which means we have to watch the fucking trailer. Because Stephen King movies are amazing. I don't know how you sleep with all these lights. What are you scared of? I don't see anything. Okay, monster check. I still check under my bed. Y'all check under your bed? I check under my bed. I didn't give a fuck. Every day. Every day. Dude, if I, if I, bro, just in case. Just, just out of the curiosity of the, like, because now it's a habit. You know what I mean? I've been doing, I've been checking under my bed for 10 fucking years. Right? So if I stop, the day that I don't check under my bed is the day that a forest demon is going to fucking choke me to death while I'm asleep. You know what I mean? So I have to check. I have you check under the bed all the time. It's you you're paranoid. I'm not bro, I'm paranoid. No. Brooke is paranoid. Brooke Brooke checks my closet, my bed, the corners. No, dude, I check under my bed. That's the only place I'll check. I'll say, "Okay, if there's anybody under the bed, like, that would be the prime spot for them to fucking stab me in the jugular. My issue, though, is what if one day there is some Momo-looking motherfucker under my bed? You know what I mean? Like, say I peel... Hold up. Like, let me find an image. Just to, like, put it in perspective. Like, say one day I check under my bed and I see, like, this shit. Like, what would I do? I, like, I, I, every single day I check out of my bed, I go, like, and, and every day there's nothing, obviously. Like, say I check under my bed and there was a regular person, I'd probably just stab them, right? But, like, if it's a, a, a paranormal creature and I check under my bed and it's there, like, I don't think I would be able to move. I know a lot of you are saying I would run away, but because you check under your bed every day and there's nothing every day, the sheer shock you would have from one day looking under your bed and there being a genuine demon under your bed, like you would, you would freeze. You would not be able to move. You would not be able to move. You'd probably scream, but you like motherfucker saying, oh, I would punch it. Like you're not prepared to punch it. The check under the bed is not a genuine check under the bed. 
it's a confirmation that there's nothing there. Because every night, there's nothing there. If you were prepared every day to immediately stab it, you would be fine. But when you check under your bed, you're just doing a quick glance. That quick glance, you look down, there's a demon. You're going to actually initially go back up and you're going to say, hold the fuck up. Hold the, did I just see something? And then you're going to check again. It's going to fucking eat your face. That's exactly what's going to happen. All right. Back to the boogeyman shit. Alamont for the five. When's the next late night stream? Probably during my spring break. I was thinking about that because I haven't done a late night. I like when was the last time I went live like past 10 p.m.? A while. It's been a while. Probably my spring break. And then in the summer. In the summer, I do them more because I'm off. But my spring break's uh, like mid-March-ish, late March. Somewhere around there, I'll probably do a late night like twice maybe, maybe once. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas was the last time around Christmas. Oh my God, I went live. I went live on Christmas Eve. I forgot about that. I went live on Christmas Eve and we stayed up till Christmas Day. Wow, W chat for remembering that. Black codes for the 300 bets. Two inch story remind. Yeah, I remember I freaked the fuck out. I got pulled over after doing donuts. The cops saw a thin blue flag on the on the back of my truck. My dad was also a cop and he thanked me for the support. I told some people this and got told I have white privilege. What do you think? I don't know if that's white privilege, but I would say you got lucky because you had the fucking flag on the back of your car. If you want me to be real. You know, like, they're getting rid of that. When you get pulled over by a cop, they're, you can hand cops, like, cards. What is that called? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I know, I have, like, two of my friends that have that dumbass card. It's some card that they hand a cop, and then the cop just gives them a warning. It's like a support card. A PBA card. That's what it is. Whatever the fuck that is. It's some card that shows you support the police, and that, like, you have family members in the police, and then they just let you go. I think it's like bullshit. CS for the 300 bitties. I told a toddler they could levitate, so they started jumping over and over and had me dying without laughter. Or had me dying out laughing. Zoo for the 300 bitties. A guy I used to talk to about uh, my family problems on fr and on Friday, he would recreate what my dad did and I cried. What? A guy I used to talk to about my family problems and I'm, I'm playing this out on TTS because I can't understand it. Larry and Adam for the sub. A guy the first used to talk to about my family problems and on Friday, he would recreate what my dad did and I cried. What do I do so I don't seem like a baby? What do you mean? What do you mean? I need more, I need more. You should fight Jake Paul. I would get the shit kicked out of me. I have no boxing experience. Chat, y'all see me, no, but y'all see me hitting that punch dummy though. I mean, no lie. No lie, y'all seen the force that goes into when I punch Bob. I mean, at that point, I might be able to knock Jake Paul out. If we're being real here. Being real here, when I punch Bob, you see that head snap back? That would be Jake. All right, anyways. I don't know what you're trying to ask me, though. I feel like you got to give me more specifics because I'm kind of confused. Somebody that you told about what your dad did did what your dad did to you? What do you mean? Hyena for the three inch bits. Did you go watch Cocaine Bear yesterday? No. I ended up um, going to my friend's house and we played a card game called President for four hours straight. Um, it was fun. Black code for the 300 bitties. I also brought my Magic the Gathering cards. Damn, I'm such a loser. Anyways, I completely think it was unprofessional by the cop, especially because I didn't say anything about it. He just saw it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that, that it's necessarily white privilege, but it's a privilege in the, in the aspect that he didn't give you a ticket because of the flag you had. All right. Kale in for the sub. Clean. Bro, she's sleeping with a light. Oh my god. No, dude. No, dude. No, dude. I don't know why that scared me. It's because I've ever I've always thought about that shit. Like, what if that just happened in the middle of the night? Fuck no. Oh, I gotta watch this movie. It's going to be under the bed. Yo, and then you're stuck. And then, and then you're stuck. Because it's under the bed. So if you get off the bed, it's going to grab you. You have to do a, you have to do a Mario jump. Like one of those big jumps. 
out, out into the fucking hallway so it can't grab you. You have to get out of its range. Yeah, look under the bed, you fucking idiot. Oh, it's gonna be right above. No, no, that's also my biggest fear. I always do that every time, too. Oh, my God. You ever think about that? You look under the bed, and you're like, oh, there's nothing. And then, so it's like, kind of, it like while you're looking under, it gets out from under the bed. And then when you, when you pull back up, it just goes right back under. Or it'll be right behind you. No, dude, it's gonna be right there. Stop. Oh my god, you guys can't even see what I'm looking at. I'm a fucking idiot. Why is this trailer so scary? This is literally a trailer. Oh god, she throws the ball. Oh my god. What did it look like? I need to see what it looked like. Oh, that's literally the picture. Yeah, fuck now. Yeah, fuck now. It's been around forever. Dude, this is probably going to be such a good movie. When it's June 2nd, I'm going to see it. Hidden. In the dark. Producers of Stranger like Things too. Bro, this movie's gonna be so fire. This movie's gonna be so fire. I hope it's nothing like Barbarian. There's no shot it is because it's based off Stephen King. Bro, y'all remember the Barbarian trailer? And we were like, oh, this is gonna be the best movie ever. And then the monster was some woman with saggy tits that babied people. It, it was like the worst movie that I've ever seen in my entire life. Barbarian was so bad. I'm spoiling the shit out of this movie, but it's been out for so long. Dude, the trailer makes it seem... The trailer is these two people overbook an Airbnb. And you're like, oh, and you're like, oh, what a bad thing that could have happened. And then, like, there's this creepy basement and, like, all this shit. And it just ends. The trailer just ends. You're like, oh, this is going to be such a good fucking movie. And then, like, the first half hour is so good. And then, like, they get into these catacombs... And the light flashes, and it's this seven-foot woman with, like, buck teeth and really dirty boobs. And, <laughs> and she just crash, she just, just skull crushes someone. And then, and then it cuts, right? And then it cuts. And it goes to this dude driving in a car. And I'm like, oh, my God. They just pulled the biggest switcheroo. They just showed us 45 minutes of a movie that is a shitty movie that has nothing to do with the actual movie. What a high IQ play. That's what my mind went to because the monster was so bad. And then it jump cut to some random guy in like Las Vegas. And I was like, Oh, this is an entirely different movie. Yeah. To which you did tell me it was ass. I was like, wow, this is going to be great. But no, but no, but no, that guy owns the Airbnb. He goes to the Airbnb. He goes down the stairs and he ends up like, like, like drinking the milk out of the mom's. Oh God. No, it's so, it's such a weird movie. It, and it's all off of incest. And the entire movie is based off this one dude who like forcibly inbred his family. Oh God. It's such a, it's such a shitty fucking movie. It, incest? Yes. Off of incest. Because the monster isn't actually paranormal. The monster is just like the kid of like, like 20, like lines of inbreeding. The kid is just a, like, just a, um, the, the kid that grew up after being inbred like 20 times. And then she falls off a water tower and dies. It's such a shitty... It was the worst movie I've ever seen. I, I would watch it again, though, because of how bad it was. It was entertaining. You know when something becomes so un unentertaining that it becomes entertaining again? That's how bad Barbarian is. Some, for the one dickhead that keeps saying chat is blurred, chat isn't blurred. Yo, is chat blurry? If chat's not blurry, I'm timing this motherfucker out for, for the rest of the day. Uh, oh, uh, King Yoshifiko for the sub, Plate for the sub, uh, Yoshifiko for the 22-month sub, Cam for the three schmitties, my dad, cameraman, because he actor in 70, what, Kaylin for the sub, Black Code for the three schmitties, 
Yeah, no, time that kid out for the rest of the day then. All right. Um, As I was saying, though, like, that's how bad Barbarian was. It was so bad that it, it became good. Because you were like, how could this get worse? And then it got worse. So you weren't bored. Like, there's a thin line of, like, boring movies that are just sheerly boring and bad. And then it gets so bad that you're like, okay, this is actually kind of fun to watch. Do you think are hiding under But it was a major disappointment. I could have made the movie so much better. They should, All they had to do was make it a ghost. Two people overbook an Airbnb. There's creepy catacombs underground. You could keep the history of that guy with the incest. Instead of having an incestual mother monster with weird boobs... You could have just made it like a ghost. That and then and then they had to get through the catacombs. Cause they they also intro it as like, oh, it's so tiered. Because you get lower and lower into the catacombs. So I was like, oh, they could have made it so you had to pass through levels of like scarier and why don't they make a movie like that? Where you you're stuck in a room. And you have to get, pa every level gets scarier and scarier and more dangerous and more dangerous. And the only ways out are from the beginning or at the end. And you have to get all the way through it. Like the back rooms. Yes. Why don't they make a movie like that? Oh, fucking annoying, dude. I would be a great, I, they, they got to make me a movie director. I swear to God, I would make a great, the platform. I've seen the platform 10 times. One of my favorite movies. N I'm not at all like that. The platform's uh, a movie about capitalism. Lol and deep pro for the sub. Bed. It's not real. What is this? It's the thing that comes for your kids when you're not paying attention. Yo, he's such a good actor. Underrated actor. Fuck, what was he in where he killed himself? Oh. He was in the, the Suicide Squad movie. He was good in that. What else was he in? Prisoners. Yes, he was the guy in Prisoners that shot himself. That movie was so good. It comes for your kids when you're not paying attention. My God, that is so loud. You believe me? Don't you? The Boogeyman. Yo, that's definitely going to be a fire movie. That was a W trailer. All right. Let's start it up. Let's actually start up the real reactions now. Gara for the Fringe Bitties. Have you ever played The Last of Us? No. Uh, and Goo up for the Fringe Bits. You mean like as above, so below? Search up the trailer. Bro, is that already a movie that's out? Don't tell me there's a movie that's out. That's exactly like I said. My name is Scarlett Marlowe, and I'm a student in urban archaeology. 370 feet beneath this point is a hidden chamber that might contain a crystal... Oh, no, this has terrible ratings. This is literally just a catacombs. This isn't like a tiered level system. I've seen this movie. That is, this is not at all like what I was describing. No. Yeah, they just get stuck in the catacombs. I'm saying I want it to be like a tiered system where it gets... Is it actually a good movie? I've only seen the first 20 minutes and then I clicked off. It has terrible ratings. Y'all thought that was a good movie? That's the best movie ever. It has a 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's bad. Like, that's really, that's like comedy movie bad. Because comedy movies always get shitty ratings. All right. Let's start it up. Teacher caught grooming student to be trans, then, the, then ending will shock you. Wow, I think they mean the ending. Title spelled wrong, kind of cringe. I do that sometimes. All right. Hey, son. What's going on here? I borrowed some of mom's fingernail paint. Doesn't it look cool, daddy? Yo, he is already trying not to laugh. Look at his fucking face. But he's but he's holding in that giggle. Like it's some school assignment. You guys ever do that shit? You have a school class. Or not a school class. I'm a fucking idiot. You have a school assignment. 
where you have to fucking film each other, like, like act out some dumbass thing, usually in correlation to some book that you're reading. I fucking hate those. Oh, is that a Barbie? Oh, my son. Is my son, what does my son have a Barbie? I have been doing some new amazing- oh, I don't care, Samir. I don't, I don't care, Samir. I'm skipping that. My beautiful baby boy, I love you so much. I'll always be there to take care of you, my son. Ain't oh. no one would ever say that to their fucking kid. I love you so much, my baby boy. I will always take care of you. What? Good catch, son. Get y'all the payment right there. Hey, Howard. Hey, great barbecue you got going on here today, man. Hey, Jim. Thanks, man. No problem. Always fun to have a get together. Well, thanks for the invite. Um, I know Alexa really loves it. Alexa? I didn't know you had a daughter. I thought you had a son. Where is he? Sorry, Jim. Did I say something wrong? Well, it's, uh, it's not Alex anymore. It's uh, actually Alexa. You changed his name? Well, I didn't change it. And it's more than just his name that's changed. Oh, that little girl is Alex? Isn't he or she too young to make that decision? It's the day in school, Albert. I agreed to let my son take these sexual education classes. And then this happens. Whoa. Really? It is not the sexual education classes that is making your son trans. What? That is not your your, your son's trans or well now they're your daughter, but your 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 biological son is now trans and now they're her, now they're Alexa. That is not because of sex education. How in the fuck would that ever make you How in the fuck would that ever make somebody trans? L. Joe opinion. How am I wrong? Bro, learning about the anatomical body is making someone tra- Like, that's fucking stupid as shit. Is Joe being racist? Yo, somebody time this motherfucker out for the rest of the day. Yo, you're- you, That might have been- Yo, bravo on the dumbest comment today. Bravo. Yo, clap it up, chat. Dumbest comment today, right there. See you later, buddy. Fucking idiot. I got the same memo a few days ago from the school, Jim. I thought Sammy Joe was too young. There is a lot, of, like, dude, even in my church and state class in college, there's a lot of arguments on whether or not, like, when and whether or not sex education should be taught in schools. But, like, the exaggeration that, like, sex education is all about, like, um, like, like, transgender and stuff like that, that's not what sex education is, right? That's a psychology class, generally. Sex education is, hey... Here is your bio your biological body. This is what happens during puberty. This is what an STD is. That's what I learned in sex ed. I mean, am I wrong? Like are they teaching are they teaching about like gender spectrums in sex ed? That's more of a psychology class based thing. That's not that's not what they're like they're teaching they're teaching puberty. And like base anatomical shit. Like that's what they teach. And I remember, I vividly remember staring at a picture of like a cartoon body and just dying laughing. Cause I thought it was the funniest thing ever that I saw a dick on a page because it was, it was literally just a drawing of a penis. And I thought it was the funniest thing ever. I, that's, I, that's, that's vividly what I remember. But hey, we had sex, Ed. What's the big deal? So, I agreed to let Xavier go. Well, it's not the same as it used to be, Albert. Yeah, when we are growing up, they used to separate the boys and the little girls. Fifth grade humor? That's exactly when I took the class. Wait, it might have been fourth grade. It was either fourth or fifth grade. I don't know when I took it. I just remember staring at that picture and being like, bro, that's so fucking funny. About very gender-specific traits. And now it's about everybody being equal. And you decide your gender in this class by the things you like. That's just not what they would do. That's just not what they would do in a sex ad class. Oh my goodness, seriously? Yeah, Alex just said he liked that, that singer Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish? Or whatever her name is. <laughs> you know, that's one of his favorite performers. And that opened up a can of worms. And so the teachers started pointing out that he might be a little girl trapped in a boy's body. Wait, 
So how's your wife? I getting don't think if the teacher did try to yeah, well, I mean that's the title of the fucking video, grooming a student to be trans. But like, dude, that's not what would happen in a regular sex ed class. Yes. Well, it's hard, Albert. And liking Billie Eilish does not mean that that you are therefore needing to identify as a woman. Like, the correlations they're making. It's really hard on the family. And yeah, the next day, Alex started wanting us to call him Alexa. Well, at first we thought he was kidding, but then he started not to want haircuts anymore. You know, I'm an 80s guy, Albert. I'm not used to this type of stuff. Yeah, man, things are different now. I'm all for trans rights, but the grooming is too much, especially at a young age. Seriously, back in the day, you know, there, there were haters that went out of the- I, I will say that the differentiate, I don't even necessarily know that, oh, fuck. I, it, it, like, it, it's a hard topic for when, for when you're at a young age and you're dealing with that. But I will say when a kid is very young, like when they're like five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's no differentiation between gender stereotypes. Like, did any of you, and I know a lot of you are going to say no because you're so, there's a lot of people that have toxin, toxic masculinity, but did any of you want to dress up as a princess when you were a kid? I did. When I was six, I would dress up as Cinderella. I don't give a fuck because you don't have when you're a kid and you're six, you don't have the, oh, this is what women wear. This is what men wear. There's no, there's no differentiation. So when you're, when it was Halloween, I just wanted to dress up as whatever I liked, right? Some years it was the Hulk. Some years it was, oh, wow, I really liked this fucking, what was that Cinderella movie with that little puffle? I dressed up as him one year. What is that fucking thing? That little, that little fucker that sings? Somebody's got to know, bro. Somebody's got to know. I know y'all seen that fucking movie. And he eats the little fucking shits and, he, and he's got a deep ass voice. Bro, I'm about to pull it up. Cinderella. Underwater. Fuck. He's blue. Bibble. Bibble. I dressed up as Bibble. I won't. Hold up. Bibble singing. I dressed up as this motherfucker. I love this movie. This was my favorite movie when I was a kid. Just <laughs> bro, like that, but that's what I'm saying. Like when, bro, that you know, Bibble was fire as fuck, dude. And then there's one that he eats when he gets a really deep voice. Bibble. Hold on. Well, hello, Barry. Don't you look lovely today? And you, aren't you the most luscious thing a branch ever saw? Bro, I love this movie. I would watch this movie now. Anyways, anyways, my point, my point is like when you're that young, there's no, there's no, okay, this is masculine. This is feminine. It's just, what do I like? That's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to take part in. That's the, that's the costume I'm going to wear for Halloween. That's the act. I oh, I want to. I like Barbies. I'm gonna play with Barbies. I like Hot Wheels. I'm gonna play with Hot Wheels. I played with both. When I was a kid, I played with Hot Wheels, marbles, and Barbies with my sister. But still, like I like playing with Barbies. I'm saying like that doesn't define all of that. Like like they're saying like oh, they're trying to groom them to like feminine things. No. I mean maybe telling them that they should identify as trans. I would say yeah, they should make that own their that decision on their own. But sitting there and being like, oh, they're not allowed to, like, paint their nails or some shit. Like, there's no, they don't, un there's, there's no gender stereotypes then to them. They don't understand the disconnect of, like, okay, this is what people associate with femininity and masculinity. And that's what people are trying to break today is the idea of that's just what people, that's what society says. Painting your nails isn't actually feminine. There is nothing that's feminine. It's just associated with women, generally, or a feminine trait. 
Shiz for the sub, Ethor for the sub, Les for the sub, Young and Pedro for the sub, Molly for the fringe of itties. The BB discussed that health education does not influence kids in any way. We teach them how to keep their body healthy and not influence them. That's what I'm saying. DDF for the fringe of itties, Bob for the sub, Alush for the fringe of bits. Watch the new Casey Neistat video. Send it in the video suggestion tab. Uh, former for the sub, Ethor for the fringe of itties. Uh, they are actually making a Backrooms movie based off the ones from Kane Pixel. Really? Goo out for the three inch bits. I already read that. Soapy for the three inch bits. Uh, garbage for the three inch bits. When I was six, my mom got me a CVS Purple Princess phone, and I loved doll houses, and my dad was dead pissed. See, bro, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not that. It, like, dude, do my, like, any dad would do the same shit, but it was like, bro, it's not that serious. Oh my God. You like playing with Barbie houses. You're fucking five. Who cares? Your five-year-old isn't actively thinking about wh what their their masculine state in society is. Sleepies for the 300 bits. I don't know if you remember me. I'm the kid you inspired to lose some weight and gain some muscle. Yesterday, just set my new personal record. Three, 325 dumbbell curls. What do you mean 325 dumbbell curls in 25 minutes? Like you did 325-pound dumbbell curls? You did 325 dumbbell curls in 25 minutes. That's a lot of dumbbell curls. Other way to persecute the... 325 reps. Somebody said this is boring. See you later, bro. Got that dumbass username too. Banavator. Yep. Bye. You literally love that. Kid makes an account to just try and piss me off. You're lagging. You're lagging, Banavator. Chat's blurry. Brooke was with me last night. It was so fun. You're a dumbass. L. Joe, not all of us are rich. <laughs> Yo, you are literally a gaslighter. Fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my chat. Erickson for the sub. Fucking ass hat. My God. LGBT community, you know, which I'm totally against. Uh, nobody should be hated on for who they are. But also, it's too young for a kid's mind. They're still learning about life and who they are. I agree. That is the saddest dinner ever. Oh my god. Those fries look fucking awful. So Jim told me some news about his son, Alex. You mean Alexa? Oh, you know? Yeah. Don't you think- Oh my god, that already agitates me that she's fucking slamming her keys that much. Oh my god, you can press them a little fucking lighter. You ain't got no fucking, you don't got those key caps or some shit. You're on a fucking laptop. No way those keys should be that fucking loud. You mean Alexa? Oh! I hate when people do that. Oh, you know? Yeah. Don't you think it's a bit young for him to make that change? That's a big deal. Oh, I mean, it's not a big deal. But he's saying they groomed him in that sex education class. I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't send Xavier. Seriously, Albert? I didn't realize you were so transphobic. What? Come on, Raven. I'm not transphobic. I just want a son to be... A son? And you don't have a problem with that? No. If our son is happy being a boy, then let him be a boy. If he decides otherwise, then let him. Whatever makes him happy. What exactly is really the problem, Albert? Which is dads usually get mad because fathers have this mindset of raising a son exactly how they wanted to be raised and getting their son to accomplish things that they didn't in their childhood. A lot of dads do that. That's why your dad usually likes when you go into the same sport they played when they were in high school. Your dad likes when you pick up the same likes and professions that they wanted to do. It's because they care more about their son being like them. Because that's what they want. Moms don't care as much, usually. Not all the time. This is just me making assumptions, right? But mothers will usually just raise their kids. Whereas a dad will want, specifically with their son is when they care more, their son to be how they want them to be. But in reality, you're just, you're raising a kid to raise a kid. Let them live their life. DJC for the 300 biddies. Intest says it's illegal to teach that stuff. 
teach what stuff? It's just he's too young to make that decision. But he's not too young to play Mortal Kombat and rip people's heads off. Or steal cars playing Grand Theft Auto. Babe, those are video games. You know his favorite character in Mortal Kombat is Katana. Maybe that's who he wants to be in real life. <laughs> I think he picks her because he finds her attractive. Oh gosh, now you're mansplaining. Yeah, yeah, now you're mansplaining, Albert, you fucking pussy. Yeah, Albert, now you're mansplaining. All right, <laughs> bro. But like, I, I don't think, I don't think he's picking the character because she's hot. You pick the characters that are good in the video game. What Valorant character? I don't play any male Valorant characters. I play Raze, Sky, Reyna. I used to play Jet. I'll rarely play Breach. I only play women characters because they're good. You've a video game. You're not picking a character based on what they look like, unless what they look like has no determining factor on performance. You pick the character if they're a good character. Wake up, Albert. It's a new age. I really don't think this class is going to be a big deal. It's going to teach our son about all genders. It's good for him. Yo, and then here's my chat saying, girl, Fortnite skins. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, but, Re no, but Renegade Raider, dude. No, but Renegade Waiter. No, dude, have you seen the back of Renegade Waiter? No, come on, man. Like, you're telling me you haven't seen the back of Renegade Waiter? Like, you're telling me the Christmas, the Christmas Fortnite skin, you haven't seen the back of that? Bro. No for the sub. I know you wanted a boy over a girl. Is that what this is all about? It's not about that. I, I wanted a girl as much as I wanted a boy. But It's you know illegal to teach sex education in Texas. Why? What? It seems like you're getting upset. There's more states. It's not only Texas. There's a lot of states that have that. Should I set up an appointment? It's the I argument that if you teach sex education to people, they're more likely to have sex at a younger age. But the school's argument is teaching sex education has no boundary on when, when a person will have sex. It is only teaching them how to have safe sex whenever they decide to do so. That's the argument from states that allow it, and that's the argument from states that don't allow it. Some states that don't allow it claim that it'll make them do it at a younger age, and it promotes all that. The other people promote... I'm not picking a side here. I'm saying the other people promote, uh, like in New Jersey, uh, that sex education is teaching you how to have safe sex when you do have sex. Our counselor? No. No. It's okay. It's really. not illegal in Texas. I'm in it. Okay, well, then that kid might just be wrong. It's cool. <laughs> it's not illegal in Texas. Okay, well, DJC, you're dead wrong then. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm not, I, I was in fact checking you because I don't I, I don't I know there are places that don't allow it though. No love for the three hundred biddies. I went to the movies yesterday with my friends and my friends stole a cup. So can you say Carrington stop stealing cups from the movies? Bro, stop stealing cups from the movies. That's fucked. Wait, and like what do you mean stop stealing a cup? Aren't you allowed to keep it? Or you say they stole one of the ones that you have to buy? I'm cool. He can take the class. Hey, Maybe it's a Catholic school board. I don't think any cath I don't think any Catholic school would teach sex ed. I have this work to focus on. I may be wrong, but I don't think religious schools would. Okay, great class today, kids. Xavier, can I see you for Bro, a Bro, this school looks like a damn prison. This is not a school. Sure, Mrs. Karen. Xavier. You're such a Mrs. Amazing. Karen. Mrs. Karen. You put you say their last name. Mrs. Karen? What the fuck? You don't say their first name. Mrs. Karen. Yo, you know the worst is when your teacher change oh my god. When you have a woman teacher and they change their last name because they get married. <sighs> like midway through your class, you ever have that? And then, and then you have to fucking, and then you have to like, you have to transition from like calling them and you have to like, remember like, oh fuck, that's not the last name anymore. And, but like most of the time they're chill. Like I've had, I've had that on three separate occasions.
in in my in my life. I had a teacher. I had three three teachers get married and change their last names. Two of them didn't give a fuck. You could call them either one because they knew, right? Like they were like, okay. And then one of them, one of them was so rude for no reason. That's not my last name anymore. That's not my. It's it's not Smith anymore. What's a, what's another common last name? It wasn't Smith. I don't know what it was. It, it's not Smith anymore. It's Garafo. It's Garafo now. It's not Smith. Okay, buddy. Relax. Mike for the 300 biddies. Amazing child. I wanted to talk to you about something that happened today in class. What is it? Well, I noticed you put male as your gender in class. I am a boy. Well, there are a few things that I noticed about you that might make you think otherwise. Huh? Yeah, see, now that, she would get fired for that. See, that is that is trying to make somebody uh, rethink like their sexuality purposefully, not letting them decide on their own. This is this is yeah, exactly grooming students to be trans. Yeah, that is weird. You wear earrings. You have beautiful long fingernails. Are you sure you're a male, Xavier? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Figure that shit out later. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna just live my life right now. That's a kid. I don't know. I'm five. I don't know. I don't know. I like robots. I also like Cinderella. Okay. Yeah, you'll figure it out later. My God. And if they figure it out earlier, they figure it out earlier. Just let them do it themselves. Like what? Yeah, let the kid live. They'll figure it out on their own. Hey, son. What's going on here? I borrowed some of mom's fingernail paint. Doesn't it look cool, daddy? Yo, he trying to not laugh so hard. This scene from a fucking zoo. Isn't it cool, daddy? He fucking said it there. Why are you painting your nails? Miss Karen, our teacher, mentioned how good nails I have, so I'm painting them instead of cutting them. Oh. It looks cool, right, dad? That looks so bad, buddy. You got to learn how to paint your fucking nails if you're going to paint your nails. Oh, my God. Why is that nail polish so fucking thin? It's like watered down. Oh, that looks so bad. He's painting his nails, Raven. He's sending you learning from some girl in class. What's the big deal if he has girlfriends? Seriously, Albert? His teacher, Miss Karen, she instigated it. By saying his nails are nice, it's Bro, not. I made earrings for my third grade crush. I remember that. My I when I was in third grade, when I was in third grade, I made I had like a like a a jewelry kit that me and my sister got, and I remember making I made her earrings, and I gave oh my god, and I was transferring schools, and I gave them to her on our last day of school. And I didn't even hand them to her. I put them on her chair. And I put from Joe. And I never, and I never, oh my God, that's so sad. I put it on, I put it on her chair. I put from Joe. And then I never saw her again. Never saw her again. And then like, bro, fuck. I don't know. Sometime later, I don't know. I was maybe like a junior in high school. Dude, she followed me on Instagram and I forgot who she was. And I remember I, I was like, I was looking at her profile. I was like, why does she look so fucking familiar? And then I was like, oh my God, she is the girl that I made earrings for in third grade. And I ended up talking to her about it. She told me she remembered. She told me she remembered. And I was like, wow, that's so fucking dope. And then I just didn't speak to her again. Cause like we didn't even know each other at that point. It was just like, wow, like that was pretty, that was pretty cool. You actually remember that. You know, I made her, that was the first time I ever gave a gift to somebody that I liked though. Not a big deal, Albert. Raven, I find it a big deal. And I set up a meeting with the school and teacher. I need to see what's going on. Fine, Albert. You're worrying too much about this. When is it? Tomorrow afternoon. 
I wanted to pull her son out of the sex education class. I think it's too soon for him. What, Dad? Ever? What is this? We didn't discuss this. So you're saying you guys don't agree? I don't just don't think a senior should be learning this. I think he's too young for him. But I like it, Dad. I understand, son. Albert, come on, you're making a big deal. Doesn't he sound like the guy that reviews food on TikTok? Keith, Keith Lee, is that his name? Dude, the way he's talking and how fast he's talking, it sounds exactly like him. It sounds exactly like Keith. Just don't think a senior should be learning this. Bro, that's exactly, today we're gonna be reviewing RB like fast as hell. He's too young for him. But I bro, yes, that sounds, like bro, somebody said no, he does not. Yes, he does. Yo, you're, you are not in the majority here, buddy. You are dead wrong. Hold up. I'm pulling up a Keith video right now. I posted two food reviews. Let's talk about it. This is an update. We're going to start with Liam from Mahav Edible Cookie Dough. Liam is. I like what that ever. So you're. We did this. I don't just don't think a senior should be learning this. I think he's too young for him. But I like. Bro, that sounds exactly the same. That sounds exactly the same. Krabby for the sub, the shovel for the three. I can't tell if that's W or L, Riz. Well, I need, dude, Riz wasn't even a thing then. I like it, Dad. I understand, son. Albert, come on. You're making a big deal out of this. Mr. Unger, this class was formulated by experts. Your son missing this class may leave him behind in knowledge that other kids have. It also- Oh my God. Okay, well, at that point, I'm gonna say, it's not that hard. Dude, parents can teach their kids what it is, okay? Dude, I, sex ed is the basics. It's puberty, anatomy, STDs. That's all it is. Am I wrong? I, I feel like I don't know if I'm missing something because I'm recollecting something that I, a class that I took in fucking fifth grade. But like, dude, that, I remember that's the only thing we talked about. We had a sheet of STDs. We went over what they were, what, what, yeah, and like how to prevent them. It was like safe sex, co yeah, contraception too. That was the only other thing. Well, it helps with preventative measures. I mean, you, you don't want him getting a girl pregnant at 13, do you? I just feel like you're grooming him into being something that he's not. Albert, seriously, I can't believe you're talking like this. Sir, I apologize, but this is coming off as phobic. I'm sorry, Mrs. Karen. Albert, I need you to go wait in your car. What? No. You are causing a scene and you need to go calm down. I won't tell you. Why is the kid sitting next to the teacher? Isn't that kind of weird? Like, wouldn't the teacher be facing everyone, not the kid sitting next to her? Like, it's her kid. Such toxic masculinity. Seriously. I see here, uh, you both have different last names. Yeah, I didn't want to change my last name. Very empowering. Thank you. This is ridiculous. This is my son. I should have a say so on what he's learning. Just sign your gender here, Xavier. You can be a girl if you want to. See, now that's trying to prep him. Just sign your gender. Don't say you can be a girl if you want. You can put whatever you want. Sign your gender here. You can put whatever you want. That's, that's a better, that's a better thing to say. Dude, I think the dad and her are both in the wrong. It's both, either way, they're both, they're both doing shit okay. that they shouldn't. This is what he wants. I guess. Do what you feel is best, Xavier. I don't know what I want to be, mommy. Well, you love strawberries over chocolate, right, Xavier? The how the fuck, how the fuck does that determine if you, what? You like strawberries over chocolate. You're trying to tell me how the fuck, how the fuck you like strawberries over chocolate? That ain't telling you what fucking gender you are. You pick your own gender based on the attributes and how you feel yourself as a fucking individual. Not what if I fucking like strawberries? My God. You could like everything feminine and still identify as a male. You could like everything masculine and still identify as a woman. It doesn't matter. Oh my God. What is that dumb shit? Well, what about chocolate covered strawberries? Yeah, that's a good question. Fucking hell.
I would wait for one second just freaking out because that was the dumbest thing she ever fucking said. Well, you like strawberries. The, what? I, bitch, I eat strawberries every day. That, that is pretty feminine. But I like chocolate sometimes. It's okay. I just... It's confusing too because it's the idea that gender is a spectrum and masculine and feminine traits are only actually society given. So she's trying to instill that but then also instill the societal things with masculine and feminine attributes to make them pick a certain gender. Like, it, it's like contradictive. You're saying gender's on a spectrum and then the societal standards of masculine and feminine actually don't exist, but then you're using them to try and get them to pick a certain gender. It makes no fucking sense. He's my son. I'm not tolerating this nonsense. Put the pin down, son. Bro, and they're acting like this is like... <laughs> they're acting like this is a contract. Like, holy shit. What are they even... Fu what, is what document is he filling out? Like, what the fuck is he writing, bro? Proof of claim? Put the pin down, son. Albert, what are you... Shut your mouth. Sir... You need to calm down. You're behaving like an animal. I am. He just, be, he just roundhouses her into the fucking nose. Nah, that would be nuts. I am an animal. Ugh. Fucking just, just like actually just yeets her through the drywall and leaves. That would be nuts. Animal, and I'm protecting my son. This is jungle, so you better get back. Albert, please. Raven, get your big back in the car and take our son with you. Please. Raven, get your big back in the car and take our son with you. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, baby. What's that lip tingle? The fuck? Typical angry black man. Nah, punch her in the face. Nah, punch her in the face, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 bro. Come on. Come on. Don't change, huh, Karen? Put her in a kitchen. Yo, what an office. Yo, nice office, Karen. Yo, nice office, Karen. I see you're really starting to get somewhere. I really like the, uh, the fucking, like, <laughs> one by two foot table you have here. Hey. Sophia, what are we gonna do now, Dad? Well, first, Did you just change outfits. Oh no, I just thought it was more yellow. Head down to the city clerk. City clerk, what's that? Well, well the only thing we changed today is your last name. Thank you, Dad. I love being a boy. <laughs> no problem, sir. I know you. What if she? She could have just said no. The only thing we didn't change is your last name. Yeah, I'm still not changing that. <laughs> like, like, why would she immediately agree to that shit? She could, she could just still be like, no, no. To be an amazing man, I love you. I love you too. It's okay to be a man and have old school morals. There's nothing wrong with accepting the trans community, but there's also nothing wrong with the straight community. We need to all appreciate. Uh, somebody said, I believe gender is your sense of self. L transphobia. I, yeah, no, I think the dad, the dad was in the wrong in a few points in this fucking uh, movie, but I mean, so was the Karen, the, the way they were both acting. Each other's upbringings and differences. Don't hate, just appreciate. Be who you want to be. Pick what gender you want to be. That's your decision. But don't let others try and enforce what they want you to pick. 
the dad and Karen were both doing that. I truly hope you enjoyed today's video. But Remember he keeps promoing this dumbass fucking kid channel. Remember to check out my daughter's new YouTube channel. It's so much fun to make and even more fun to watch. Click the link above or the link in the description and it'll be pinned on the top of the comment section. Hope to see you there. Bro, this is so ass. <laughs> what made him want to start this channel? I'm assuming because it's a kid's channel. And if you have kid content, like Cocomelon makes the most. Wait, hold up. Like Cocomelon makes a shitload. That's what it is. It's because like if you if you start a kid Cocomelon. If you start a kid channel, yeah, dude. 145 million a year. Fucking 12 mil monthly. Dude, how many views are they even pulling in? 100, 100 mil a day? They're not pulling 100 mil a day. They're pulling 100 mil views a day? You're fucking kidding me. Last 30 days, 3 billion views? They get that many fucking views on Coca Melon? My God, who the hell runs that channel? They probably make a bag, dude. No. <laughs> 30 minutes? An hour? Oh my God, dude, their CPM's so high. that guy but i feel like if i made my kid watch this my kid would be stupid like i like <laughs> like i understand the nursery rhyme shit but if my kid's watching this every day i feel like my kid's gonna be a dumbass like actually ooh, wash my hands fucking jesus christ like i feel like you could play nursery rhymes that are a bit more like i don't know educational <laughs> shit you would watch on a shroom trip like what the fuck is going on right now happy days doing things like work or play is there something you should do before you're on your way please stop and think there are germs that you can't see oh my god just tell the kid to wash the fucking hands oh i'm getting mad Oh, I'm getting mad. Now that song's low-key fire. No, it's not. No, it's not. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Six black men versus one secret white guy. Jubilee video. This is the most recommended video I've had to watch in so long. Fucking 40 goddamn recommendations from you guys simultaneously in the Discord. Normally, you guys will send a video maybe once or twice. So many people sent this in the fucking uh, video suggestion tab. Also, shout for that. Video suggestion tab, exclamation point, Discord. You guys can send videos for me to react to. And I have a game suggestion tab for games to play. Um, Lowell from the Three Ninja says, can you please shout out my stream? No. Uh, if not, it's cool. If so, thanks. Uh, I love you. Uh, I'm not going to shout your stream, uh, but I do appreciate the Three Ninja Bitties. Little gem for the sub, Etho for the Three Ninja Bitties. Teacher looks like a skinwalker pretending to be human. I'd still smash though. She a baddie. Oh, my God. Is that a real raid? Wait, is that a real raid? 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 Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Ooh, not a real raid. Is it a real raid? Hold up. Yeah, no, not a real raid. I don't think. Wait. 
Yo, and then they put, huh. The reason I don't know if it's a real raid is because you raided me with 300 viewers. But you don't have... When was your last stream? Oh, maybe it is. Hold on, let me look at your YouTube. The reason I'm questioning it uh, is because I get fake raided all the time by bots. Uh, so I'm just trying to check that that's not what you did. Um... Berlizzi does the same thing. It's real. Oh, that you don't have actual, like, you don't have actual shit there. He said my Insta. Why do you want me to look at your Instagram? I don't know. I just didn't see any chat. I didn't see any new chatters come in. The views did not change at all. Yeah, it's, it's it's still the same amount of people, actually less. So, uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't think you raided me. I know you're typing in my chat, but I feel like you bot raided me. Um, if it was real, I appreciate it, but uh, it just seems like you bot raided me. I was live on Insta. I joined my I told my followers to join my raid. They would have to join your Twitch stream. If you were live on Instagram and you raided me on Twitch, you would have to go live on Twitch and then raid here. But the views didn't change. Like, the view count would spike. Somebody said this is boring. All right, then we'll see you later, Dan. Uh, see you tomorrow, Dan. Everybody say bye, Dan. See you tomorrow. All right, we're going to move on now. Dude, if that was a real raid, thank you. Just doesn't seem like it. Uh, cap for the sub. Especially since you're saying it was on Instagram or something. Like, I don't really understand that. But I don't know how Twitch works. I'm going to be honest. You don't need to be live on Twitch to raid. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. What is a Twitch raid? A raid sends everyone on your channel page at the same time of the raid to a target channel. Do you need to be live for a raid? Maybe not. Dude, if it was a real raid, thank you. I might be wrong, but I'm always skeptical of raids. Somebody redeemed flex. I'm always skeptical of raids just because, dude, every nine out of 10 raids I get are fake. Uh, and that just, no one was typing. It just didn't seem, it just didn't seem real. But if that was real, thank you, genuinely. Uh, Jizby. Jazby, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, he said you don't. Okay, well then thank you for the raid. W raid. Reverse, reverse dub. Thank you for the fucking raid, bro. Reverse dub there. Uh, J-Z-B-Y, bro. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that shit. W raid. Sorry I was skeptical of it. Reverse dub. All right. Six black men versus one secret white guy. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm white. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> how do you, how do you, how do you pretend to be black? Like, I don't understand. They're all going to have blindfolds on, obviously. Because you could just see that the guy's white. So they have to speak to each other. By voice? Okay, for sure. Now, yeah, but like, it doesn't mean... Now, uh, one quick question I gotta ask. Are there any other, like, Africans or anybody with, like, any, like, Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't, but my mom's Ashkenazi Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally, like, a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to... He's literally mixed with everything. Okay, for sure, for sure. Uh, anyone else? Nope, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, uh, Rosebud is actually my street, mate, my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like the nickname people call me by. They do Fitzy. Yeah, sometimes they do Yo, Fitzy. I'm waiting for this white guy to talk. What the hell is he going to lie about? Like, how would you pretend? Sometimes they be doing Fitzy. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just, just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said fits, I thought it was because you had tough fits on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that too, that too, you can't you even see him, that. what you talking about, that, bro? That too. <laughs> I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on. You that wasn't even funny. Can we all say what we're wearing and everything? I got a skeleton all red, 
varsity jacket, cargo oh, pants yo, on the crazy. side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Bro, Air Forces. I'm waiting for them to ask him a question. Fuck. Yeah, bro, he is hairy as shit. Right now. <laughs> I wish I could dap you up right now. But Wait, what type of forces y'all got? I don't know. So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You right. Oh, I see where you're going with that. You said half black, half white. Half black, half white. Bro, you know what I would do? I would, I would say let's feel each other's hair. Are they allowed to do that? And I know he's bald. But, like, it's just genetically the odds of... You know what? I, I feel like that's a good strat. Am I wrong? Why would you... Yeah, because of, like, just because of genetically, like, the hair you have. Like, I have really thin, blonde hair. Like, if you, you can't touch anybody. You're not allowed to touch them. Okay. You feel me? No cap, I used to wear some Pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. Well, my strategy for today... But motherfuckers say my strategy's bad. If they were allowed to touch each other's hair, that would be a good fucking play. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong, bro. Come on. You touch my hair, you immediately know I'm white. You immediately... Bro, you touch my hair, you say, what the fuck is this thin-ass shit? You're like, nah, that's a good-ass strategy was to figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. Who's one of the brothers, you feel me? Who here knows what the smell of a hot comb on a head? It stink. It stink real bad. <laughs> what are some prominent songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion? Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Bland. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac and... <laughs> 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 well, look at this shit, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. His vocal inflections, like it just, it kind of it made, made me think of, you know, straight out of Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black. Yeah, I, dude, I, it just seems like he's trying. For a second. Yeah, I grew up on classic rock from my mom's side, and then I grew up on Motown from my dad's side. So anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop like, he's faking his voice. Like, that's, like, he's just naturally talking. But, like, this guy over here, what is his name? What is his name again? That boy for the Three Ninja Bitties. Suggest us three of your favorite philosophical books right now. Uh, Good and Evil, God is Dead, and... I was going to say Plato's Republic, but it's not my favorite. It's just a good one to start at. His name's Matt. Rob. Bro, well, Rob. Bro, Rob's wearing a Hawaiian shirt, number one. But. <laughs> Rob's in the fucking Hawaiian shirt fit. The dad, the dad fit. Anyways, I feel like Rob's trying to fake his voice. I don't know why he wouldn't just talk. Up on Motown from my dad's side, so anytime you know summer vacation in the backyard with my nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop up and nana. That's actually how he talks, really. Dancing, slow dancing to it. <laughs> but that know? one guy was like, "Bro, it sounds like he's faking it." That's how he actually talks. Damn, damn, bro. Who was the one guy that literally said it sounds fake? <laughs> this guy. This guy's like, "Yeah, that sounds fake as fuck." There's one person that's suspicious of him. <laughs> So we know where, basically. <laughs> Yo, we made it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start off with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. We're, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five. Okay, I okay, like that. Uh, <laughs> me growing up half black, half white, there's certain songs that they sing that I honestly didn't know word by word what to, what to say. In the movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? It's a famous line. I feel yeah. like movie knowledge is not going to determine who's white. I got another. I ain't going to cap. I ain't even know the answer to that one. Mm. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's complete this song. Uh, dad boy got stretched. And how are they going to know who they're voting for if they can't see the person they're voting for? Like, if you hear a guy four, pe three people over, and you're like, oh, no, that's the white guy. Well, how the fuck are you going to vote for him?
pants. Boy, that stretch pants. They have their own number. <laughs> what is that? I got one. I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. To cook yeah. it real good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and your mama whipping it up. Mm -hmm. That food is okay. I was listening so intently on on voices because you ever been on the phone with like telemarketer? You can tell us a black person on the other side, so you throw out little hints. You know, while you're talking, and like, oh yeah, we cool. I was trying to catch that. Call and How respond. How do you tell? How do you tell? Am I dumb? Like, I don't know. I like, dude. If I was standing here, I'd be like, I don't know how to determine what race anyone is. Won't he do it? Yes, Won't he will. Cause it's not as much race as it is where you're from. Like, where you are from? Where are you? Because his accent, or not accent, but how he speaks, his his lingo is from where he's from. It's the same thing with everybody. Like what city you're in, where you grew up, what state you grew up in. That's what matters. It's not even slang. It's the way people say words. Somebody said it's a black person thing. Okay, well, then maybe I just don't get it. Pork for the 300 bits. Did you watch Outer Banks? And by the way, Sarah Cameron's a baddie. I've not watched. I watched the first season of Outer Banks. After that, I didn't watch the show. Should I keep, should I rewatch the show? I watched, I watched part of season three with Brooke, but I have like no idea what's going on. Look for the 300 bits says, just make them say the N word. If you want to be really, really extreme, make them say it with a hard R. That would be so fucked. That would be so fucked. That's just, that just puts the white guy in a bind. Then the guy, yeah, then yeah, it's over. It's already immediately over. And if he does say it, then he's fucked. Even if he, because then he's getting really into it. But now he just said the N word. No. Jovenif of three. Uh, I'm assuming they probably already told them they can't do that. Are you going to make, are you going to move to kick? No. That boy for the 300 bitties. I uh, already read that. It's straight for the 300 bits. Just go around one-on-one -on -one and say the word. Yeah, why is everybody already recommending that? What Val agent should I pick says the shovel? I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, all right, we're caught up now. Who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. But they know this. This is true. What flavor of Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like great. You mean purple? Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. That's low sauce right there. You say great. That's suspicious. He said the flavor instead of the color. Because where I'm from, where I'm from, we go by colors. We don't go by we don't go by that. What you just said. Wait, wait, but hold up. Why is that crazy? Because grape and purple. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's just grape. It's the same thing. Purple, exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from. We go by colors. We go by colors. Grape Kool Aid, not purple. Mm. Red flag. You're trying to come See, at me. See, it keeps going back to where they're from. So that's not gonna like because that's that's where you develop your personality. About the grape, but honestly, that I, I grew up. But now up they're calling him sus because he said grape instead of purple. Like I don't understand that. Friends, and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool Aid? You pour the sugar to the ancestors, say stop. <laughs> <laughs> in the summers, it was either if you were outside or inside, you had to pick, right? Like, yeah, one no running in and running up, and, up and inside your house, you know? So, y'all y'all feel that? Or? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, don't let that good air out. <laughs> mm -hmm. When it comes to black women from the 90s, who do you think of off of it? Be along. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna say, uh, uh. I feel like I would know this guy's white. If I, like, if you, bro, just because, like, I th I feel like this guy's getting sus of him. Every time he talks. Uh, uh, ah, she was her name. She was a rapper. Um, wow. What's her name? Rap City. Jada Pinkett. Or the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. Right, you take His legs forever. are so little. His legs aren't little. He just has long jean shorts on. Goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shotty from like Black Panther, who is the queen. You feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but yeah. you gotta know Angela her name. Bassett. Oh, there Angela Bassett. Oh, there we go. go. There we go. Well, I, I think a, a, a Whitley from a different world. I can't remember her name. Old girl from a different world. Hmm. Growing up, watching my sisters Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from that runway show. Um, is that 90s? Tyra's from the 90s. I, I have no anymore. idea who they're gonna vote out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine they vote out the white guy off rip. I don't think they will because this video is 20 minutes long, but that would be so fucking funny. 
off rip, he just gets immediately eliminated. Bro barely said, he said like 10 words this entire round. Bro, but how are they voting? I think they're going over number one, number two, number three. Yeah. Damn, it's because he said grape. They voted him out because he said grape instead of purple. Bro. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> My homeboy I was matching with is gone now, bro. When it comes to being black men, microaggressions, let's talk about it. I got you right here, man. I went to a PWI. Man, I... Bro, I ain't listen to the new Yeet album. I don't listen to Yeet that much anyway. Stop asking me, what do I think about, bro? Literally, the new Yeet album. Hold up. Let me literally pull on a fucking song from it, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where the fuck is it? Hold up. Yeet. It's not even going to show up. What the fuck? Yeet. There we go. What is his new album name? Is it This Is Yeet? What's the new out? What's the name of the afterlife? Afterlife. Why is it not showing? Oh, here it is. Wait, no. Let me just give me a song from the new album. It's not showing up. Oh, here it is. I got it. I don't like the beats he chooses. It's not even the words, bro. Like, what is this? Fucking in the back, dude. Like, it's not... I don't know. Like, I like... Dude, like, I like, like, Quavo and shit like that. Like, they got good beats. Like, this is a fire beat. Take a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look, mixed it with the chill out. Now she says she said three. Like, it's a good beat that you can rap to, like, like this. In the background, like, fuck. Like, that's not, like, I, I just think it's the beats. I don't even think it's the words, necessarily. Like, oh, my God. Dude, I don't know. I don't fuck with it that much, though. Like, or this is good. Saints, nigga, who that? I'm rich as a bitch. Bitch, why you mad? I'm still be walking to the bank. Like, a beat makes a rap. Am I wrong? I, like, when I listen to rap music, dude, uh, like, every good rap song always has a fire-ass beat with it. What the fuck was that that was ass? Verbus, you literally list- Bro, let me put on- Let me put on some shit for Verbus. Nah, now I'm pressed. Nah, now you actually got me pressed. Hold up. You're wrong on that one. That one was so good. What do you want? Who niggas know me? Man, leave two in your hoodie. My youngsters are not and stay with a cut and chef up you and your mother. Free R1 got Nick for a Mazza. Now he's doing life in a slammer. How many times have I circled it up, lock again and again to a man got slapped with a hammer? Yeah, now Vervis is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, bro's a well known rider. I'll hop off a battle. Yeah, yeah, this shit's fire. Uh. Bro, you're telling me this song was bad. Chat, is this song good or not? That's North. Bitch, why you mad? I'm still be walking to the bank. 
hit the stage, make your bitch faint, Eddie Kane, the nigga shot at me, but they miss, no ain't, I'm drinking Henny with the coke, no cane, ayy, hey, back to back in black with bitch, that's more talking shit, you get black, bitch. Bro, y'all just have, I feel like I have better taste, I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> Nah, I do listen to some shit that people don't like, though. Yeah, but what about this? Now how they gon' stitch, but they stay in their place cause this shit'll get hit. No bodies we drop at the bed of they dress. I be quick to throw hands when we stay with them whistles. Glocks, K's, yeah, we with the hits. Think You're I gonna get copyrighted? This won't even be a YouTube video anyway. Jubilee copyright copyrights every single video that they've ever made. So I don't give a fuck if I play copyright music during a Jubilee video. Because they never become YouTube videos. Even if they're good content, it's just they always get copyright striked. Or not striked, flagged. Oh, wait, no, this is verb. I got her the dance. She said she wanted to, to, to flaunt. I don't fucking know, dude. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm moving on. Bro, who gave me 50? Oh my God, I can't see who gave me it. Bro, who don't know that? W streamer. Who don't know that? The old, the don't know ID showed up. That's it. Who the fuck don't know 50 bucks, bro? Take it for the 50. Kira for the sub, pork for the three bitties. My God, bro, who gave me 50? You gotta announce yourself in Streamlabs donos because they don't fucking show up. Uh, uh, it's some glitch that they have on their end. I don't know why it's all fucked up, but bro, thank you for the 50. Uh, I don't know who the fuck gave me that, though. Uh, but thank you. Feel free to tell me who did. W50, bro. Thank you for that shit. My God. The fucking hair sticking up in the back of my head is going to make me start freaking the fuck out soon. I'm about to start fucking punching walls and shit. <sighs> Y'all get, get bad calyx? That's my shit in the back of my head. I'm literally matting it down. Dude, my hair just sticks straight up. Looking like alfalfa in this bitch. Lope for the three inch bitties. You like songs with the weird, the weirdest unharmonious instrumentals ever. Yo, you're actually bugging, dude. You don't like, you don't like my rap? Bro, hold up. Hold up. What's like a good rap song that motherfucker? Bro. I listen to Xavier Wolf all the time. Yo, chat, W or L for this. Oh, hey, in my mind, her smoking on the nudie. I see the sun rise, now it's time to keep it moving. You niggas ain't a threat, who you thought you was behooving. I ride through the county, only bumping old music. I pulled up on my mama just to see what they was doing. I'm headed out to eat. Bro, like, ate. that's good. I'll listen to Bones, too. Motherfuckers don't like Bones. I get shit when I listen to Bones. Hold on. Yo, bitch, yeah, she my style. Took a while when the die. Negative, my baby bones not Hold up, it's mine so fire. In my lungs. Don't wait till I'm done. Bury me alive with a 150 plus. Lit, I'ma spit like a kid from the pit. Always get me. Nah, because that's like Lear, bro, because motherfuckers. It's like mumble rap. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? It's like so many rappers will fucking get on the mic and go, and you can you make out every fifth word every fifth word is it's just mumble rap like it's not dude it, it, there, mumble rap isn't even that good that's what i'm saying motherfucker dude there's whole youtube videos that people like document every fuck you try to decipher what the fuck they're saying my god that's racist how is yeah here we go again yeah here we yeah yeah here we go how the fuck, how the fuck is that racist? I, how the fuck is that racist? I am making fun of a, of a style of rap where they mumble. That is not at all associated with any race. Brother, brother got eight chats. Buddy's got eight chats in my stream coming in telling me that's racist. I'm just kidding, please. Yeah, I'm not going to ban you, but stop being a fucking dumbass. My God. Who, yo, do y'all got a mumble rap song? Bro, like, I, I want to look up, like, mu I, I don't know. I can't think of a song.
He said, I want Bentley, I want money, like, five times. But, nah, I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's good lyrics. It's just, like, dude, I feel like the mumble rap is, like, it's, like, so popular. But then you can't even fucking hear what they're saying. All right, let's get back into this. Um, Bartman for the five hundred biddies. I like this girl that doesn't go to my school but rides my bus. What should I do? You can still try and talk to her. Just because they don't go to your school doesn't mean you can speak to them. Pork for the three hundred biddies. The beginning of Free Dog is mumble, and you can uh, and can two inch write an essay on Sarah Cameron. Well, that's if two inch likes Sarah Cameron. All right, hold up, Free Dog. All right, that's the last song that I'm listening to. Trump, Demi. And that's all for the vibe. Been watching your YouTube videos. Was able to catch your stream. Duh. Thank you for the five, bro. Uh, and Izzy for the sound. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is like definition mumble rap. I got nines in this bitch. That's what, that's the only thing that I heard. Code bank for the fucking 25 gifted. I gotta stop screaming. I'm gonna lose my voice more. Hold up. Free dog lyrics. Bro, code bank, thank you for the 25 fucking gifted, dude. God damn. Code bank 48, dub in the chat for that. Thank them if you gotta stop it. Thank you for the 25 fucking gifted. I got. I go by young boy and I'll zip you up from talking shit. These blank bitches. And I know that they ain't about that shit. Can't come how I'm coming. I was a youngin when they treat that shit. I've been knocking off. They never knew it was going to come to this. See, like the lyrics, again, aren't bad. But I... See, like, like, but then I can hear him. It's like, they, they, like, the, like, sometimes there will be like a mumble section, and then they'll get in back to like where they're talking loud. Somebody said, just say the N word. Yeah, never, dude, no. Uh, three Olivia for the sub, Edgy for the three. Why did I just get timed out as being an average chatter? Don't know. You gotta ask my mods. I could look up your user real quick though. Uh, and Code Bank again. Thank you for the twenty-five gifted. Uh, you were not being a normal chatter. You were spamming LeBron Jam, holy LeBron Jam. So you got timed out for 10 minutes. I'd be chilling in the corner. There's only 5% of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture. Wait, hold up. We got to rewind because I even remember what the fuck they're talking about. Naomi for the sub. When are you playing Sons of the Forest? Wednesday. When it comes to being black men, microaggressions let's talk about it i got you right here man i went to a pwi man i'd be chilling in the corner dominantly a white institution only five percent of us but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the for the dang for the diversity, life. For, the diversity. For, for the diversity right i'm like Bro. they only five percent i gotta give them credit though because like finding us is gonna be a little bit tough but like they, they found a way regardless i ain't even gonna lie loke i'm i'm real lost we from the streets i ain't even get that far like college and stuff like that Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. yeah it's like the low key racist thing. Yeah. Like, not like. You're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a grown man. You're a black guy. You're so well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game. You walk down the street, right? And a white folk see you. The first thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips, like, and nod their head down. Mm -hmm. Make that weird face. Or they face, give you, you know hella I mean? space on the sidewalk or even step in the street. Yo. Or clutch their bag. Clutch their purse. Yeah. Microaggression. Clutch like. bag. I'll do the fold lip thing with anybody. When you pass someone, you go. That is such a white people thing, though. Dude, anytime, anytime you pass, anytime I pass anybody that I know, I'll go. And you just get a head nod. Never do that again. Bro, but there's, bro, but you're telling me you all never done that? You're telling me, you're telling me you never pass somebody and they give you a head nod? It's always some old white guy. They give you a head nod, you go. You, bro, like, what else am I supposed to do? What? Because they don't say, like, like the, the dude that's passing me, he's some 45-year-old fucking man. Like, like I'm not, he doesn't say anything to me. What am I gonna, I'm not starting a conversation. I'm going to just go right back at him. Like, I'm not going to be, I, I never initiate it, but I'll do it back. I'll go. Rascal for the sub.
We'll take the next elevator. Yes, mm -hmm. all of that, all of that. Hella room in the elevator too. Stare at you like, you ain't supposed to be here. Okay. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me, like Love and Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right, you from New York, yeah, bro. Yeah, so you already know. Like, I am my brother's keeper and that's some real shit, so. I'll tell you what, man, I watched the, uh, the first Power Ranger movie like twice a day for like the first four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Yeah. Power Rangers. <laughs> well, my favorite movie when I was a kid was Pirates of the Caribbean. What was y'all's favorite movie? Fuck. Outside of Pirates of the Caribbean, I really fucked with Flubber. I really liked Flubber. I thought Flubber was a fire movie. Underrated, too. Underrated. Let me tell you, Flubber, watch it tonight. You never seen that movie? Watch that shit. So good. Such a good movie. Haven't seen it in years, though. Flubber? Yeah. What is Flubber? It's like, is this old guy? Oh, fuck. What is his name? My God, I'm forgetting his name. He's an actor. He took his own life. Uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams is the head star in it. And it's like, it's like this ball that's like sentient. That's like Flubber. It's like bouncy. I don't know. It, it's, it's like a cool ass. It, it's such a dumb concept for a movie. But it's a good ass movie. Harry Potter. I didn't even get into Harry Potter until like literally eight months ago. And Oliver for the uh, Beagles for the three inch bitties. You playing Sons of the Forest anytime soon? I literally just said I'm playing it Wednesday. <laughs> like 10 seconds before you said that. Yeah, Wednesday with Zeusy, I'm playing it. Uh, Jay Bartolo, or that's when I'm going to start it. Jay Bartolozzi for the three inch bitties. I obviously wouldn't finish the game in three hours out. Off topic, my 25-year-old brother hasn't showered since September. That's fucking disgusting. He smells like shit and has no job and plays video games all day or sleeps all day. Okay, but what's his Valorant rank, though? Right? Like, if he's, if he's like, immortal, too, dude, um, you just got to realize that's a part of the grind, bro. Right? Like, that's a part of the grind. He can't, he can't sleep. He can't shower. Right? Because then, then he's not going to be able to get those Q points. Right? He's going to be minus... He's going to be minusing RR, like, while that while that's going. Season reset just happened, too, you know? Um, but I don't know. Dude, if you deadass have a 25-year-old brother that hasn't showered in four months, that's fucking foul. You need to talk to him. No love for the three of Uh Went to the movie theaters. When I, one of the, I was one of those restaurant movie theaters, so they had real plastic cups. Ordered chicken tenders and a Dr. Pepper. My friends were drinking out of my cup and ate my food. Can you say Miles, Jarrett, Nick, and Carrington don't steal Will's food? Just said it. Uh, and thank you, Nola, for the three inch Season with season. <laughs> oh, Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. Oh, facts. facts. Hard is hard. It is. I watch. I watch anime too. Oh wait, you yeah. watch anime? Uh, I do. Uh, what you, do. What you like? What you like? Dragon Ball Z for shows and gateway. Oh, Y'all, Naruto. Come on, like. Don't laugh at me, but I love the Disney Channel originals. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, uh, no, no, that was good. Hey, hey. Watch let let's I mean? watch a Disney Channel. Boy, y'all know about that static shock though. Come on. I was Disney Channel originals. I'm literally just about to say. Nah, I'm saying superhero yeah. static shock. Woohoo! I met his voice actor, bro. He was. You that, did? Feel my dude is cold, dope, bro. Wait, he voices every single black. Bro, I remember I used to watch the Wiggles until one of them like OD'd on coke or some shit. What the fuck? Uh, wait, is that what happened, or was that? Oh, was that Blue's Clues? It was Blue's Clues. One of them had like an addiction problem. It was, was it Blue's Clues. It was Blue's Clues, or it was the Wiggles. Which one was it? He overdosed. Which one? I I was it the Wiggles? It was the Wiggles. It was the purple Wiggle, right? I remember when that happened. I didn't I didn't even understand like overdosing then. I remember hearing that on the news though, and I was like, bro, what? Blue's Clues, some shit happened too. I remember it was like some addiction problem. Every single black, every and single. Samurai Jack. He's Man's black. got yeah. range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. All right, I got a question because I feel like we just gonna be be like we gonna be vibing, man. Too yeah. much, yeah. Right? I got y'all after this. <laughs> Even if you white, we gotta tap in for real. <laughs> hey, you have to. Be... Yeah, nah. you be like. But, uh, okay, so hmm. why does that bother you? It... <laughs> 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 you didn't even have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regards to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being uh, a Russian girl, and my dad was he he always used to throw hints like, hey, man. You know, she's nice and all that stuff. And, like, he wouldn't, he would never say it, but I, I knew, like, the his upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism stuff. So he kind of had, like, the hesitance mm -hmm. for, like, those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know, family members, like, say, hey, like... 
I mean, my mother was from Shreveport, so, you know, she used to be on that. Um, and she was older when she had me. She was already, like, in her late 50s, so okay. she wasn't playing with none of that, really. I don't think my parents ever put, they just want me to love who I love, but at the same time, I think there's always that underlying, like, you know, His we would love His teeth are so white. Do they whiten their teeth, like, for this show? To be a black woman. Because they all have, like, perfect teeth. Yeah, it was actually the same for me. Yeah, they have to give them whitening strips. They never said don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that. Bro, it's like every episode, that's all all I focus on. But I definitely know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister for sure. Bro but... said they, question mark. The people that run, yeah, here we go again, trying to gaslight me, you fucking dumb cuck. They meaning the people that are on the show, regardless of, of race or ethnicity or anything, the people that are on the show in Jubilee Odd One Out videos always have very white teeth. The cast of the show. Oh my God, here we go again. Like, oh shoot, like you're, you're with somebody who understands you. Right. Who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the day-to-day-to-day -day -day basis. From the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people were cool or whatever. Like, I'm cool or whatever too, but like, I appreciate a sister. Like... Because she understands me and I don't have to explain myself. But they never show the voting process. They always just show clips of people raising their hands and shit. I want to see the actual votes. We have a tie between Rob and Brevin. Y'all hit that side of relief. <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, like I said. Um, I didn't have a traditional, like, upbringing as far as, like, dating um, a lot of different people because I'm a queer black man, but it took me a long time to get there. Um, but you as far You know what's nuts is they're trying to... They're, you know these guys are trying to imagine what they look like because they don't know what any of them look like, so they're just trying to envision shit based on their voice. As far as home life, I had... a. Uh, two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah, um, this is hard. I don't know. I'm black, y'all. I'm black. <laughs> My name Robert. I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters, and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets. Uh, not See, too. Why is he going like that? Like, is that a good or a bad? I don't understand. Like, he's like, like, does that mean he thinks he's white or not? I don't. I like. I don't know what is going in his mind right now much school and that's pretty much it i think he thinks he i think he thinks he's the white one when it came to brevin uh, it seemed like he was privileged and i relate more to struggle hearing some of the things he was saying it kind of like made me think and like second guess in my brain Damn, i was like really this gotta vote him out nah they're gonna keep rob this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. I appreciate the try, bro. <laughs> it looks like we are tied again. Wow, what? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I, I'm just going to say that like the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that like, you know, that's just a case where he could like relate to a lot of like black people's struggles. You feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, but he might not be like black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, yeah, not... he might have grown up in a city where he was with predominantly black people and grew up around that struggle that they're relating to. But I think they're catching that. I think they're gonna vote Rob out. I think they're gonna vote Rob out. Do you get ah? Do you think they vote him or Brevin out? I think they're only not voting. I think they're only voting Brevin out because he had an easy life, is what they're saying. Not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so. Growed up, grew up. My bad. Because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, and he definitely sounds like he's from South Central for sure. Not a whole lot of white people down there. So I'm going to say he stays. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's the fact, Rob Black. You yeah. sound like people from around my way. So he, no offense to you, Brendan, but, but you got to kick rocks. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so fucked when they fucking take off their masks, too.
Yo, uh, no offense, Private. You got to kick rocks, brother. <laughs> I know you're the white one. Then he's going to take his fucking mask off. Oh, nah. I, I, I hear it in Kevin's voice, sure. too, though. Like, that's the thing. Atlanta. I hear it in both. Yeah, but, I hear it, yeah. for sure. But <laughs> Rob, like, I feel like I could say certain things to Rob, and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like, is you going to really relate? Or? Yeah. yeah. You know, I no think that what but, does hit and lick mean? <laughs> Dude, what if they tie again? <sighs> Take me away. Yeah, Rob sound like he know good catfish. I'm not sure why I got voted out. I feel that a lot of times I've felt that I'm too white for the black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay, it's all good. I think the mole is still in the box and you wanna continue playing the game, raise your hand. Well, Rob ain't move either. Rob's... He don't move. He has not moved. Bro, when he pulled over, he, he moved over like three feet. Bro, he probably pulled a shimmy. God damn. Why is he not moving at all? Like, the other guys are still moving their hands and shit. No, stop. What are you doing? 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 Yeah, why would he raise his hand if he thinks the mole's in the box? He's the one that's never supposed to raise his hand. I knew I wasn't going to get eliminated. Um, Why is that? I don't know. I just came in like I was going to win. Really, I already said I was going to win. So. Anybody else got a question? Oh, yeah. Bro, the game would have ended. The game would have ended if he didn't raise his hand. Because two people raised their hand for the mole. That it's still three to, it's three to two. Bro, now he could get eliminated. Because he was the second option. They were going to vote him out next. Fuck. Uh, Triton for the sub. Xenon for the 300 bitties. Uh, M. Oliver for the sub. Fawns for the 500 bitties. Should I go to work or call out my car stuck? Need your opinion. Up to you. When do you have work? How long would it take? I don't know. Crazy for the sub. Jay Bartolosi for the 300 bitties. My brother doesn't play Val. He can't even... Uh, he can't because he plays on PlayStation. Ooh, he plays mostly COD, Apex, and Fortnite, and he reeks so bad. Your 25-year-old brother lives at home, doesn't shower. Living at home at 25, I'm not going to diss that, right? But your your brother not, doesn't work, doesn't shower, and only plays video games. Does he have a job? I forget if you said. Christian for the sub. God damn, dude. He's got to get a job. That's like the big thing. All right, so let's make things just like you. A little bit spicy, you feel me? What's like, bro? I'm not even. I'm not. You, you know, I know you're trying to gaslight me right now. I know you're trying to gaslight me right now, right? Even though, oh yeah, no, I, oh yeah, oh I'm, I'm a full time college student. I'm not 25. I shower, and uh, I have a job. Even if it is social media, which people downgrade all the time. You guys are sitting here watching me nevertheless, so. One critique. But your ass at Fortnite. Manifest, you're bad at Minecraft. It is impossible. You're, okay, no, 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 no. I'm not dealing with this dumb shit. You tell me I'm bad at Fortnite when I get more Fortnite limbs than you and.
but I also think that people need to really be on their P's and Q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same financially. Even though we spend some of the most money in the U.S., it never stays within the black community. The game banger. Yeah. That got to stop. Elaborate on that. Well, it's, just, it's no point in game banging no more. I mean, uh, if you think about it, you game banging. Uh, and then it got so bad where Bro, his you know answers are good, too. Like, I don't think, do you think they're going to vote out Rob after this? Everybody that run black in prison is together, even if you from the enemy side, the op side or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I, if I supposed to game bang, shoot somebody, and if I get caught and I got to go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it, just, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. Mm, I feel that. Mm. So it's just, it's, that's, that's the first thing got to go. I don't see why they wouldn't vote him out, though, if they were sus of him to begin with. They were all so sure in each other, but now they're, I feel like they're going to vote out one of them. I don't think they're going to vote out Rob. Don't be so quick to buy Gucci, Prada, Louis. Like, I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Suvi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, yeah. you know? Yeah, Yo, like can't, can't you think they look through this? Like, I'm not trying to say they're cheating, but, like, he could see. Like, he could look at Rob's legs and see that he's white. Uh, a critique is just... Um, I would cheat. Would y'all cheat in this game? No doubt. No doubt. For money, bro? Oh, my God. I'm going to be having reasonings and shit. I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, that motherfucker's white. Yeah, Rob, you're acting a bit sloshy here. A little brother is... uh. He's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma, and uh, nothing against like the school or anything. The people is around, but I feel like the ideas and uh, and like the mindsets that he's been around from his uh, you know early childhood and whatnot, because uh, have been just like not open minded to new possibilities. Opportunities are out there. We just got you know open minded to it and try to figure out what works for us. You know, this might be on the fault of like the media. But I think sometimes we over sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether Bro, these are so good. Oh my god, I'm macking them real quick. I'm not gonna be eating too long, chat. Bro, I love Takis. Chat, what are better Takis or hot Cheetos? Takis, no doubt. No doubt. It's like an addictive tang. Like it's just the sensation, dude it's joy or like having a good laugh or something like there's just so much more to us than like you know the pain that we go through and i think that needs to be you know shown more in like our movies our tv shows just like the way we talk about like the way we talk about things like i think that there's just so much more to the black community than that i want to see black people doing goofy stuff on screen not just being slaves you know right yes. come on now talk about it or criminals or yeah. or, or, yeah. or they're gangsters yeah. or killers. No, that's not yeah. even like a thing for america but like you go to china you go to like some of these other places like that's all they see of us you feel yeah. me yeah. well the issue the issue with like race in movies is today they're like it used to be a problem of like they wouldn't include black people in movies and if they did they had a bad role now there's so many movies and i'm learning about this in sociology somebody said this video so ass well it's almost done now the issue is having tokens in movies where they'll include somebody but it's obvious that they're including them for the purpose of diversification You know what I mean? Instead of actually just casting, okay, this is what we're doing. Like in Disney shows. In Disney shows, you ever watch a new Disney show? They have like like they have like five main characters and they purposefully make each person just one like one separate ethnicity or race. Like it's like instead of actually just having like a normal group of like like a casting of individuals, like a regular friend group. Like they're they're making every per like they'll have eight people and they'll try to have as many inclusions of those eight people in Disney as possible. It's just like it's obvious that they're doing it purposefully. Word. Man. Somebody said careful Joe. I'm not what I said wasn't fucked up. I'm right. That's what they were complaining about too. In movies. I went from a complete flip. I'm not wrong. 
What I said wasn't fucked up. You're saying careful, like I said something bad. Fawns for the sub, Ibby for the sub. You real? I think we're all good, bro. Same. I feel like they're still just gonna vote out Rob, because they already almost voted him out last time. Damn! Sorry, Gabriel. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Bro, Rob won. Rob fucking won. If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. No All way. All right. So that's unanimous. We're going to end the game right then and there, okay? If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red... How the hell are they going to... How the hell are they going to know if the lights turn red or green? They're blindfolded. If the lights turn red, bro, just take off your blindfolds and look at the motherfucker next to you. He's white. That means the mole is still in the box and you all lose. The thought popped in my head of what if you had it wrong the whole time and the guy right next to you yeah. is the one. Three, two, one. It is red. That means the mole is still here. Sure. Oh, you, know. you guys can lift your blindfolds in three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is Bro. The look he made, he was like, yeah, fuck you guys. What? <laughs> this is hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Rob. That's Rob. Yeah. That's Rob. Oh, that's Rob. Oh, that's Rob. Oh, yeah. I'm Brevin. What? Brevin? Yo, what's up? Brevin. What's up, yo? What? Big ups to you, yo. Big ups to you. Hey, yo. <laughs> of course, there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like, not like Rob, like that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they called me Milk. I'm from South Central. I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. <laughs> My whole family is black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until I was like that's dope. grown, grown. That's real. My, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every birthday. But I never really, that never really like bothered me, I guess. Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? Bro, his oh, nickname's Milk. <laughs> Bro, they gave that to him at a young age, probably. That is funny. <laughs> My nickname's Milk. Bro, that is fucking hilarious. Because he's white. Yeah, no shit. I... <laughs> Why else would his nickname be Milk? It was. It's getting a little better. Huh. Uh, what about for black people then? Is it easier or was it more difficult to get along with black nah, people? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that's all milk? I was around. Oh, yeah. You think that's why? You think that's why? You think his nickname's Milk because he likes 2%? Whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county jail, yeah. juvenile yeah. hall, every yeah. party. Yeah. Everything. And your whole family, like, they just all accept you. Because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Well, nah, I had a good family. Since my mom married a black man, they sat shibits for her, which basically in the Jewish community. Yo, W adoption now. That he got taken in. It means that you're dead to me. And it's almost a um, lone feeling that you get sometimes when you feel like you can't relate to anybody. I was like the baby, Loki, like the youngest one. Wow. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. Is that all ones? Oh. Bro, I was about to say, how much money are they handing out? I know they give out like a grand. I think they give out a grand. Is it grand or 500 bucks? They really putting that shit in ones to make it seem like it's more. Bro, I'm about to hand you a thousand in ones. Give them ten hundreds. That'll be a pr pretty lackluster. <laughs> a, fucking, a fucking thin ass stack. All right, here. You get ten hundreds. What is a misconception people have about black men? Put us in a, in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy black folk in the world. All right. Like me personally. I'm that was a W video. Next video now. Slappy and Ragu for the sub. YS head for the three. Never fail to make everybody happy. Dub. 
Uh, Fawn's Libby and XX for the sub. Christian for the sub. Why tipping is a scam. Good shit that I finished my food because now we're probably going to get into an argument, chat. Everybody lock it! Let me, let me take a sip of water and get this Nutella out of my fucking mouth. Somebody said, can you play Police Sim? No, I played it, like, for the majority of stream yesterday. <laughs> the fuck? Can someone please explain to me? Oh, God, this is going to be a rough video. <laughs> how to tip in America? Because I don't get it, right? For example, in England, where I'm from, tipping is seen as optional. And to an extent, right, it's seen as a convenience. Like, if I'm eating out and my bill came to £48 or 31 pence, I'll just leave £50 on the table. Or more realistically, I'd pretend like I forgot my wallet at home and I'd hope my friend leaves £50 on the table. But again, the tipping's more of a convenience. Like, fuck- Well, that's a shitty tip. That's a really shitty tip in the US. If you're tipping 169 on a $48 bill, you're a dickhead. You tip, like, what, what percentage do y'all tip in the U.S.? I tip 20%. Almost always. I tip 20% if it was good, even if it was, like, eh. I, like, I, it'll be rare that I tip less than 20. If it was really good and the, wait, the waiter or waitress was really nice, I might tip 25. The most I ever tipped was 30. 30%. So the people that say they tip a specific dollar amount, the issue with that is when you have, like, really expensive bills. Like, I know a few people that, like, oh, they're like, I tip five no matter what. Uh, well, tipping five dollars on a $20 bill is really nice. But tipping five dollars on a $100 bill is dickhead shit. Uh, and I see a lot of people say, oh, I don't tip in the U.S. or I don't feel like I should have to tip all this shit. And it is a problem in the sense that, like, they're getting underpaid. And so they should be already paid minimum wage or higher. And so there should be no need to tip. But they're not, right? And yes, if they don't get paid minimum wage and tips, they're legally required to pay them at least minimum wage. That's how it works in restaurants. Restaurants might pay you $4 hourly. And if you don't get, say, the minimum wage in New Jersey is, I think, 12 or 13 bucks. Say if you don't get that hourly from tips, they'll pay you that hourly. The issue, though, is you want them to make good money, especially for what their work that they're doing. So you should tip anyway. Just because, like, if you have a $100 meal and you walk out with $0 tips, like, you don't tip at all, you're just an asshole. Like, if, and, and I, I see the, the rebuttal of, I don't have enough money to tip. Well, then don't go out, is my response, okay? If you don't have enough money to tip, and you don't have enough money to throw a tenner down when you got a fucking $50 bill, if you're getting $50 of food and you can't tip a tenner, don't go out, right? Because then you're just being a dick. Right? Sitting there and saying, oh, they have to wait on me. I'm not going to tip. Tipping is not a part of my culture. Okay? But I'm saying, like, if you're going out and you have a fucking $300 bill and you give Buddy five bucks when he waited on you for two and a half hours, you're just an asshole most of the time. Right? Unless they were a shitty waiter. And I, I get a lot of shit from that. I know that's an L take by a lot of people. But in my opinion, tipping is being nice. You're supposed to tip. In my, in how I've been raised, you're supposed to tip your waiter. Waiter or waitress, because they, they're waiting on you. They're serving on you. You're probably there for hours, so you should tip them accordingly. Joe Bart for the sub, or for the 300 biddies. Fuck the 169 change. Do you know what I mean? I just want to get up from our table, get in my car, and go home. I don't care about the 169, right? But in America, it's- Can't afford to tip. Then you, then why are you going out? Like, that's what I don't get. I, you, you get $10 of food that can't afford to tip. You can't afford to leave a dollar? No. Okay, well, then don't then, then you shouldn't be wasting money on going out anyway. Like, I don't get that. I'm getting $20, $20 of food. I can't afford to tip four bucks. Well, then, if you, then you shouldn't be going out anyway. Because if you're in the gripe for those $4 for the tip, then that $20 mattered more than it that mattered more to spend it on other shit than it did to go out and get a few drinks. You know what I mean? If that tw if you needed that four bucks so you can't tip and you spent $20 on a meal and, and beer, then you shouldn't have done that in the first place. You should have never gone out in the first place. You should have saved that money, bought it cheaper at a grocery store or something, and then saved $15 off rip. That makes more sense to me. Tipping is pretty much fucking- What about tipping on DoorDash? 
See, that's different. Tipping when you pick up food, tipping on DoorDash. On DoorDash, I tip 15%. I don't tip 20 on DoorDash. Because like that, like like that, I tip less, right? I'm gonna keep it real. I tip 15 on DoorDash. If I pick up the food, I'll tip like 5, 10%. Because they're just making it at that point. They're not serving me. That is a difference, okay? If you pick up food, say you're going to a Longhorn Steakhouse and you fucking pick up $30 of food. I might tip like three bucks, two bucks, just because they're not serving me. They're just making the food and giving it to me. There's no, there's no in-between waiting. They're not grabbing anything for me. They're not talking to me. It's no, I'm, ge- I'm going there to pick up the food. In that scenario, I won't tip as much. Sometimes I'll, I'll usually, if I'm picking up the food, I'll tip like 10%. DoorDash, I'll tip 15. Mandatory. They drove all the way to come to your house. Yeah, but when, when like, well, that also, how much I tip also depends on how far the restaurant is. I think door dashing, it's, it's, it's much more, it's a different scenario. You know what I mean? If, if you're grabbing, if you're door dashing and say you're somewhere where the McDonald's is two minutes away, I'm going to tip them way less than if the McDonald's is 15 minutes away because that's determining how much work and how much time they actually have to put in getting it to my house and not only or wherever I am. Is it mandatory, but you get job- What about tipping cashiers? Tipping cashiers, I just give change. Like, if I'm at a Starbucks, if I, I, I haven't had Starbucks since the fucking Mr. Beast event. But say I'm at a Starbucks. All right, it's 9.50. Here's 10. Give me 50 cents back. Boom, tip jar. I'll just tip change at that point. Or if I'm really nice, like ice cream, at ice cream places, I'll tip a dollar. Because, like, they're usually people, like, at, I, people that work at ice cream places are usually, like, Young, trying to make money. Like, they need money for college or something like that. Most people that work at ice cream places are college students. So I'll tip, like, two bucks. Some shit. For, like, a $5 ice cream cone. If you don't, not people will actually think that you're cheap. Or Somebody an- said L vid, Joe. All right, I'll time you out for 20 minutes. We'll, we'll catch you later. We'll catch you after this vid, buddy. You could go eat or something. Asshole for not leaving a tip. Like, for example, did you just have a great date with a girl that you really like, but forgot to leave a tip? Well, congratulations, mate. She now thinks you're a dick. I don't get the problem. I ate at your restaurant, and the bill came to $20, all right? Therefore, you asked me for $20, and as per your exact request, I gave you $20. And I'm somehow an asshole for that. I do think that in America, they should have tip in the bill. A lot of countries do that, especially in like the Caribbean. They'll have gratuity already tagged on. Like it's a required pay of, I think it's like usually like 10 or 15% tip. That makes sense because then there's no, then you, then after that it's, it's optional. But I don't, I, I agree. I don't like how in the U S that like you have to determine that yourself. I think they should add it on. Same thing with fucking anything in the U S. When you walk up and you and you look at, here's the problem that other countries don't have. You know when you're like saying a dick sporting goods, I want to buy these shoes. Price tag, $9.99. Or $99.99. All right, so 100 bucks. Go up to the register. All right, 110 Why the fuck is, like, I don't understand... Why not include the tax on the fucking tag? Why not put the tax on the tag like other countries do? Also, this $9.99 bullshit. Oh my God. Who the fuck thinks that? $99.99. Who the fuck's like, oh, it's only $90. No, it's $100. It's one penny less than $100. It's a dumbass marketing strategy. Whatever. Keep that bullshit in. Add the tax. Put the tax on the fucking thing. So I don't have to fucking determine whether or not I have enough money to buy it. Nav and Codster for the sub. Swap for the sub. How did that make me an asshole? If I gave you a $20 gift card... And Yas for the sub. I don't understand why I'm an asshole, right? But this is $20 cash. What the fuck are you mad for? You're basically mad because I didn't just give you more money for no reason. Because that's what tipping is. It's just giving people free money, isn't it? Like, why would people want to do that? How the fuck did the practice of giving people free money for no reason whatsoever become so popular? Like, what's wrong with us? 
And the thing that it's because if, if if they were paid minimum wage in the United, if waitresses and waiters were paid minimum wage in the U.S. plus tips, tipping would be less less of a problem. But because they're getting paid like four bucks, if anybody here is a waiter, how much do you get paid hourly? Like it's like four bucks. I like Brooke. Brooke's a waitress. I think she gets paid four bucks an hour, like pre tips. Makes even less sense, right? Four twenty five, something like that. Three fifty. Yeah is that in most parts of the world, we pretty much only do it at restaurants. What makes restaurants so special? Why don't we do it anywhere else? Like, for example, whenever I get my electricity bill or my phone bill, right, I pay exactly the amount stated on it. And what's more than that, right, I would not dream of paying those fuckers more, right? Not a penny, not a penny more. So given that, why do people always pay extra when the restaurant gives us a bill? That doesn't make any sense. And also, right, it's the norm to tip at every single restaurant. Like, it's not just the small mom and pop's restaurants, right? I could go to one of Gordon Ramsay's rip-off restaurants in London with it charging- And they, okay, that's where it shit changes, okay? That's where I have contemplated not tipping as much. I still do, though. When you go to a really fancy restaurant and you've been there for an hour- and you and one other person's bill is $345, and I'm expected to tip this motherfucker $75, which is like a day's wage, <laughs> which is like a day's wage for one meal. Like, those waiters make a bag. Waiters that work at, like, the really fancy restaurants, like Jeff Ruby's, Gordon Ramsay, where, like, steaks are, like, 60, 70 bucks, because then, like, five people or, like, Nobu, like, a fancy sushi place, you're getting a $300 meal yourself. And you're expected to tip 60 bucks on that. Like, that, I wouldn't be as surprised. I wouldn't be as mad if somebody tipped less there. Because the effort for them waiting on you is slightly higher. But the food cost and the bill is extraordinarily higher. So then you're tipping them an absurd amount for how much little more work they're doing for you. I'm mad for the sub. Or e mad for the sub. 30 fucking quid for an appetizer the size of your balls, <laughs> and I would still be expected to leave a fucking tip to this millionaire restaurateur. How did this shit become the norm? <laughs> but listen, I might be missing something, right? Let's hear him out, right? Let's give him a chance. So tell me, Gordon, you rich twat, what should people tip? Let's hear some of his reasons. Who the fuck is this? If we provide good service, you should leave a tip. No, no, no. Fuck off, mate. When you go to the grocery store to buy food, if the cashier is nice to you, you never leave her a fucking tip, do you? Well, she gets paid minimum wage. I feel like this is just a shitty argument on his part. Like, I'm not trying to be an ass. Like, I, I think the video's funny, but like, easy, easy comeback. They get paid hourly. Like, that was a dumbass point. Exactly. So for some reason, the system's like this. Grocery store, no tip. But restaurant, tip. Grocery store, no tip. Minimum wage. No tip. But restaurant. Restaurant, tip. Tip. Not minimum wage. Yeah, but they could find a new job. Bro, that's like telling, that's like telling somebody who's poor to just work more. Like, that's a shitty fucking comeback. Yeah, but they could just find a new job. Okay. And if you're poor, you could just work more. Like, that's like a shitty argument. Like, that's a shitty argument. No, you could just work more. Why don't you get a better job? Oh, you don't make enough money? Why don't you just make more? What? Like, you realize if you were saying to every waiter or waitress, just get a different job, there would never be a waiter or waitress ever? It's not my fault they don't get paid minimum wage. And? They don't get paid minimum wage. Even if it's not your fault, it's still the norm. It's still what's happening. Well, wait, is That's wait the comeback. Don't so why are you always mad? I'm not mad right now. Enough. It's not my fucking responsibility to pay their bastard salary, is it? That's their bosses. True. Complain to him. It that is annoying that they don't get paid minimum wage. You don't get paid enough for fuck's sake. Not me. Crack the door, now I'm yawning. But great, they work hard, they deserve a tip. Listen, I used to work as a teacher, right? Not only did I work hard, 
but I worked hard. Hey, Joe, why don't you sell everything you have and tip employees? Did you actually think that was like a good point? Was that like a good point in your head? Why don't you sell everything you have and tip employees? So greedy of you. That was like a really bad point. Like you like you realize like how that just sounds like that like like I hate tipping. Who the fuck tips poor ass non-college tuition McDonald's employees? No one's tipping fast food workers. What are you on? Who gives a fuck about tipping poor ass people who didn't go to college? Yo, you're just a dickhead. <laughs> you're telling me I'm great. I know you're trying to make a point of like, oh, this would be dumb. Like, oh, why don't I sell everything so greedy of you? But this is just like dickhead shit. Like, this isn't even like, I don't want to tip. You just said, and I quote, bro, who gives a fuck about tipping poor ass people who didn't go to college? Like, that's not even, that's not even like, oh, I don't like tipping for a variety of economic reasons. You just said you don't like poor people. I'm a kid. I'm sorry. Just say I'm sorry. And recognize that you have some dumbass fucking points. I'm joking. I'm sorry. I'm a kid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, no, I get the same shit. Like, when I donate money and, and whenever I, I make any charity stream or charity anything, people tell me, why don't you do more? Why don't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Oh, you, oh, you did this, but you didn't do that. So I understand your point of like, oh, why don't you sell everything and tip employees? But that just has nothing to do with the conversation. It's not selling everything. It's not on that big of a scale. You have a $20 bill. You can tip four bucks. It's not that hard. Like when you're getting into like $145 bills and shit, yeah, then I'm getting it. But like, bro, even then, they're getting paid $3 an hour. It's just my take. Hard as fuck. I mean, don't do respect. I don't have enough money to tip. Okay, well then don't go out. My job That's my response. That's just my general response. I'm not saying you have to sit there and tip 30% of your bill, but like even tipping 10% is fine, right? Like I still think, yeah, you could tip more, but like the amount of people that will go out, spend $400 with, within a group of people and no one tips. Like Brooke tells me about that all the time and she gets flack for it too. Like there'll be like five people that go into a Hooters and buy 150 wings and eat all of the wings and tip zero dollars like that's just dickhead shit i don't have enough money to tip well you just spent 150 dollars on fucking chicken wings so i think either you're just terrible with your finances or you're just being a dick because you're telling me you don't have enough money you don't have enough money to leave five dollars you don't leave any money at all you don't leave any money at all you just spent 160 bucks on fucking 145 chicken wings the kid just threatened to report you. What kid threatened to report me? Grandma's for the sub. The kid, the kid that I just, the kid that I just talked about, what just threatened to report me? What was his username again? I'm telling my mom on you. I'm telling my mom to report you. You hate me, wah. I don't hate you. The fuck? It's Trey for the three Jibetis. I'm a server. The reason you tip is because we do everything while you sit there and do nothing when you're getting your drink and food, blah, 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 bring it to you, silver and napkins. That's what I'm saying. You're somebody's bitch for two hours. Yeah, exactly. Allie for the, uh, the 700 Jibetis. The stick man has the same chin as you. Okay. Lewis, or Lois for the 300 Jibetis, or the 500 Jibetis. Need advice on how to ask a girl out. I'm also a girl, so I don't know if I should or it's just different for guys. You can just ask her out. Say, hey, do you want to go out to eat? Hey, do you want to go somewhere? Bowling or something? Just don't ask them out to the movies. That's a terrible first date. As a Going out to the movies is so bad because you just never get to even speak to them. ...was a lot more important than any job in the restaurant industry. But despite that, right? Why do you think the owners don't pay more? Because they're not legally required to. It's just the law. If they, it, like, it, the only reason any facility pays you any amount of money is because they're required to pay you that amount of money how come no one ever gave me a fucking tip huh no, no beef, no more, nigga. and i used to work with some right little shits
By the way, I'm not making this up, right? And I'm not exaggerating. But back when I was teaching, right? One of the students that I used to teach literally had a reputation for masturbating in class. I swear to God, I went to help this kid once and his fucking flies wide open for anyone who wanted to see his 11-year-old cock and bollocks. Fantastic. I had to put up with wankers like that. Literally. And you think you deserve a tip for putting on a fake smile for me and carrying my curly fries from the kitchen to my table? Fuck off, love. If anyone deserves a tip out of the two of us, it's me. See who's this page of me and why. But here's the thing, right? Despite everything I've said in this video so far, I would recommend that overall, you should still probably leave a tip. What? But Grode, after saying all of that, why? Because, right? These people are the people who make your food. If you don't tip, you'll soon build a reputation as being that guy who doesn't tip. Max. And do you know what will happen after they see that guy who doesn't tip coming to the restaurant again? They're gonna take a shit in your pizza. Exactly. You'll get your food spat in. Or even worse... Because realistically, a tip isn't really a reward for good service. Tipping is more of a, please don't spit in my food the next time bribe. So if there's a restaurant that you like, and that you want to go to regularly, you better fucking tip! Yeah, if you tip. go there one time, you could not tip. But if you're going to go there multiple times and you don't tip, they know who you are. They know who pe they- Restaurants remember people that don't tip and people that tip really well. It's my nigga pop from the barbershop. And if there's a restaurant that you already go to regularly, but don't tip enough at, sorry to tell you, mate, but odds are you've probably had more of the chef's saliva in your mouth than your fucking girlfriend's. Yeah. Wanna stick my All right, I'm done with this fucking video. We're moving on. We are moving on. Holy fucking shit. All right, next. Do we have so many videos left? Toasted for the sub, grandma's for the sub. Uh, love for the 300 biddies. Europeans, especially the Brits, love shitting on us, but they need us way more than we need them. What is this in correlation to, Lope? I feel like you're just starting beef out of nowhere. Europeans love shitting on us. Are you saying that guy was European? Is it like, is it because he was European is what you're saying? Ace for the sub. The dog from hell, Tallulah. We are not watching this whole video. We're going to skip around. Spotted Tallulah, she thought she'd found the perfect pooch to pop in her handbag. But that dog's ugly as fuck. This bitch came with baggage. Once home, the cute lap dog mutated into a vicious, malicious, mauling monster. Yo, the little yappers, in my opinion, have no fu- why is it that little shitter dogs are always the motherfuckers that are the most aggressive? When I could punt the fuck out of that dog, I don't know, maybe maybe 60 yards. Maybe 60 yards. I could probably get a 30-yard field goal all with that fucking dog. No, like, and that motherfucker's gonna start nipping at my fucking ankles? You're not some goddamn Rottweiler, buddy. Settle down. Enter Victoria Stillwell. No dog has ever got the better of her. Come, watch me. But she's going to need nerves of steel to take on Tallulah, the hound from hell. If this dog was a human, it would be either in prison or in a mental institution. You just gotta assert your dominance over the dog. I would just start, I would just start barking out this shit at that dog. I'd make that dog piss itself, and then it, and then it wouldn't bother me anymore. That's what it is. Hey, owners, when your dog's overly aggressive, it's because you trained them badly. It's never the dog. Everybody always says it's the dog breed because there are some dog breeds that are more likely to be a aggressive. But it's always it always ends on the owner. It's never the dog. In reality, it's like it's like it's not like a kid or like a child where they can grow up and they have outside influence and they can end up becoming a serial killer outside of the parents or some shit because they end up finding a love of like murder and all this other shit outside of their own parents' household. Like a dog lives with you 24-7. Their life is only with you. So it's not like a child where they have like an outside life that isn't attached to you. Your dog is only with you all the time. So if your dog's shitty, it's because you trained it bad. That's, that's, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. If your dog sucks, it's your fault. Joe hates his fans. I don't hate my fans. I'm just, I'm spitting facts right now. If your dog sucks, it's your fault. I mean, some dogs are just like, yeah, genetically more likely to be aggressive than other dogs, right? But if you have like 
every time, dude, it's always a little dog because that's the ones they let. Everybody lets little dogs walk all over them because they're small. Big dogs, you take it seriously because you don't want to let a, you don't want to let a big dog get out of hand because then they'll actually murder someone. A little fucking yipper ain't gonna fucking kill somebody. So when they sit there and they bark at you or some shit, you're not gonna fucking beat the shit out of them or, or like fucking yell at them because they're not gonna fucking do anything. I I never even had to hit my dog. Daisy, Daisy, when she would get out of hand, I would just yell at her. I would just say, yo! And then she would fucking, she would go. And then she would run up to me and start wagging her tail. Like, bro, you don't need, you don't need to even hit your dog either. I think that's whack. I had a squirt bottle though. That's what I used. Some people are going to say that's fucked, but I mean, like, I thought it was nice. My dog would bark at me. I would just squirt her in the face with a water bottle. Then she would go, Ugh. and then she would stop. She never does it again. I haven't even used the squirt bottle since she was literally like six months old. My dog, my dog was a shitter from like, because that's when they grow up. When they're bad, they're bad between like one and six months. That, but at that point, hitting them does nothing. Hitting your dog, like not like smacking them on their ass. I'm saying like people that beat their dogs. Like you're an idiot there because now your dog's going to have PTSD or become overtly aggressive. So that's another problem. I'm ranting about dogs all the time because I love talking about how dogs are trained. Anyways, when you train your dog, like when I train Daisy, um, between one and six months, like you could yell at the dog if they do something bad or you could like squirt them with a water bottle or something. But like going to like electric collar or hitting them really badly, no need. Like you could get a little like newspaper and smack them on the ass because it's not really going to hurt. It's more so the sound. But like it all goes back to training your dogs. That's my point. When you have a shitty dog, it's your fault. Jake for the 300 biddies. W take on tipping. Most kids don't understand. If you're logically thinking adult, you understand how tipping works. Uh, if the restaurants would have to pay the waiters a livable wage, the price of food would go up way more. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the same price correlating with tip. Delaware servers make 283 before tax. Yeah. Acrylic for the 300 bits. Look at my name and see my messages. Cleansings for the sub. Needed for the 300 bitties. I'm from Europe. They're paid $14 an hour, so you don't tip here. When they come to America, they don't realize waiters are paid $3 an hour. Uh, yeah. But I think some people do realize and then they'll tip later. I'm not mad at like people that come from Europe and don't tip or some shit. They just don't understand it. Uh, can you look up my name and see my messages? Yo, what a terrible play here because now I'm probably going to ban you from my chat. Just admit you want me to kill myself because you won't look up my, main, like, my name like you did that guy. That is the biggest fucking gaslight guilt trip bullshit I have ever seen in my entire life. Just admit you want me to... That's like that crazy ex-girlfriend. Just admit you want me to kill myself. I'm like, what? Oh my god, Joe, please look at my name. You gotta hate me or something. No, there's 3,627 people in chat, and I don't see everybody's fucking user. You better, I better see the best fucking apology of mankind. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I might ban you, dude. You're a terrible chatter. I'm, I need to see the biggest fucking revelation I've ever seen in my entire life from you or else I'm going to fucking perma ban you. Dude, I don't care that you gave me bets. You're a dickhead with that bullshit. And then this weird shit too. I want to lick peanut butter off your nuts. What the fuck? Michael for the sub. Cleansing for the sub. Dude. Joe, I'm sorry I didn't I didn't mean it. Everybody makes mistakes. We all deserve a second chance. We can all fix ourselves. All right. I'm going to time you out for like three months. Does that sound good? Bro, you have every chat today is terrible. Is Minecraft Monday tomorrow? That was the only normal chat. Yes. Lick peanut butter off you. Telling me to ban somebody. Just watched the Super Bowl. The fuck? That shit was like three weeks ago. I hate my life. I want to kill myself. Because you lost your diamond armor in a stronghold. You want to kill yourself? Just admit you want me to kill myself because you won't look up your name. You Like, bro, come on. Like, you got to figure it out, dude. 
please, I hope you don't talk to people like that in real life. Because that's just not how you converse with people. That's just really not how you converse with people. If you threaten to kill yourself to people that you know because they're not giving you attention or something, yeah, dude. Like, I don't know, man. Verbus banned you. Yeah, I'm going to keep you banned in my chat, bro. You got to make a new account or something. That was really bad chats. I'm sorry, man. I, I don't know. That deserves a ban. Should that be a timeout or a ban? Do a poll for my mods. Oh, wait. Which? Timeout, ban. Dude, I don't know. Like, like normally I'd be like, all right, you're just trying to piss me off. But, like, every single chat you had was awful. Code bank for the fivers bets. I was the one who said 50 earlier. I was trying to tell you what the bets, but I wouldn't let me. Well, thank you for the 50, code bank. Uh, and I'm sorry that I didn't know it was you because of the fucking dumbass Streamlabs glitch. Uh, but thank you for the 50. Michael for the sub and Michael for the three inch If you're an L chatter, why the fuck would you tell the streamer to look at your chats? See, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. He told me to look at his chats, and then he was shocked when I said I was going to ban him. Like, I don't see, I don't understand that at all. I'll unban him and see what he says one time. You get one final message, Acrylic, uh, to plea for your unbannings because everybody's voting for you to be banned, bro. All right, hold up. He's not saying anything. I'll give him like three minutes. Everybody voted ban now. Let's fast forward to the dog. Tallulah just turned into this like beast and just trying to bite the old lady's legs and the old lady was petrified. In fact, she'll go for anyone who comes Dude, it's aggressive in public to random people. That dog is just on some shit. In three feet. A real danger for Jade, whose 18-month-old son is dangerously mobile. It is very worrying for me that she might, and she could do a lot of damage because he's only a baby. The hairless Chinese crested breed is very rare. Do you mind going? Do you bring her out to a lot of places? Bro, that dog is so ugly. I don't want to watch the rest of this, but that dog is so ugly. I would never get that dog breed. Oh my God, look at it, dude. Why the fuck does it look like that? Holy shit. Holy shit. He put, yay, I'm not banned. Dude, I, I, I'm going to ban you. You realize that, right? I was saying, I said, I, I'll never do anything like that again. That's your one, that's your one defense. Up, oh, you're banned again. Verbus banned you. All right. But yay, I'm not banned. I said like three, what did you go to the bathroom? I gave you like four minutes. I said, you could type one message on why I should unban you. And then you put, wait, what happened? I'm not banned. Just leave him banned. It's your boy from the three Japanese. One time my sister do uh dog one time my sister's dog bit me in the arm and then bit me on the leg and it was the first time it was fine. A few minutes later he started acting crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. When a dog gets aggressive with you one time, if you don't do anything, they're gonna keep getting aggressive. It gets bad. Yellow from the three Japanese. Not asking how to be mod, but how can somebody be mod? I feel like you've asked me this like ten times, Yellow. Um I like I swear I feel like I've seen you ask me this before. How can somebody be a mod or VIP? I feel like you've asked me this multiple times. Um, activity in chat. Chatters know you. Mods know you. People like you. I got to know who you are. Not to the extent of like who you are as a person, but just as a chatter. Uh, shit like that, right? You usually go VIP, then mod. Some people skip VIP, but usually they're a VIP first. Uh, that's just kind of how it works. You remember the Kixi kid who kept asking for VIP every day? Yes. All right, next video. My quest for the worst secret menu item. The plan is simple. Many fast food restaurants are known for their secret menu item. Holy fuck, I got to turn it down. Hold up. The plan is simple. Many fast food restaurants are known for their secret menu item. One example being In-N-Out in California. Dude, I didn't even know fast food places had secret menu items until TikTok. I saw some whack-ass one that, like, for McDonald's, you can get a chicken sandwich with eggs on a McGriddle if you ask at a certain time or some shit, like, the between. What is the secret menu? It's just, like, a fast food place might have an item that you could ask for that isn't on the menu, and they'll still make it. And some of them are time-dependent, usually between, like, switching between breakfast and lunch, something like that. 
California, whose secret menu is so popular that they actually list it on their website as being their not-so-secret menu. However, a lot of popular fast food chains like Burger King or Wendy's are not really known for their secret menu items, and they have a fairly strict menu. Or do that. See, I think they're lying to us. And by they, I mean every fast food restaurant is involved in a deep conspiracy to keep the truth out of our grubby little hands. So I did some sleuthing on the World Wide Web. I wanted to figure out what dirty little secrets these rascals were hiding in their kitchen. It turns out that there is a website exclusively dedicated to indexing all of these classified recipes, claiming that it is really? the ultimate collection of secret menu items, which is such a strong claim to be making. It's like the wiki leaks of food, I guess. I had no idea how we're live this website would be. And to be honest, I didn't do a lick of due diligence to verify it because that's something a nerd would do. So I flew out my best friend Tucker and we drove around Los Angeles trying to find the deepest secrets that money could buy, starting with Taco Bell. So there's one that's called the Incredible Well, okay, here's the issue with Taco Bell. Is any secret menu item on Taco Bell is just gonna be the same damn thing as everything else. Taco Bell is like five ingredients. Tortillas, cheese, meat, vegetables and that's it it's a combination of that a quesarito some things it's sometimes it's a hard shell taco wrapped in a soft shell taco or it's just a soft shell taco or just a hard shell or it's a quesadilla but at the end of the day it's always the same beans meat vegetables that's it like rice, it's rice, beans, meat, vegetables, tortillas, cheese. That's it. That's six things. Six things at any, at every Taco Bell. Hulk. Guacamole love affair will meet its match with the Incredible Hulk, a monster-sized burrito. Sauce. Okay, yeah, sauce. With monster-sized flavors, too. Man, we got a McDonald's, we got a Chick-fil-A right there. Chinese massage. Here we are at our first spot, Taco Bell. Hi, how's it going? Hi, how's it going? You guys got a thing called an Enchurito? Yes. Could I get an Enchurito? And then we wanted to try this special thing we heard about called the Incredible Hulk. The what? The Incredible Hulk. Dude, I feel like they probably don't know. Because mo most fast food chains, they're not going to teach you about the secret menu items. They would have to look it up. Yellow for the five gifteds, bro. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I will say yellow, though. It seems like you ask a lot about getting VIP and mod. Money has nothing to do with that. So I just want to let you know that if you are gifting subs to increase your chance of getting VIP or mod, please do not. If you want to gift subs, just gift subs. It should not be in correlation towards getting VIP or mod in the future. Thank you for the five gifteds, though. I appreciate that shit, Yellow Cat. Press E for the thousand biddies. What's a VIP? Got to be a last bit. VIPs just don't have chat restrictions. They have a diamond by their name. Got to be last bits for a while because I'm saving for a PC. Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Donations are optional. Press E, thank you for the thousand biddies. Yellow for the five gifted. Jimenez for the three inch bets. What happened to get an oxalotl illegal in New Jersey? Muncher for the three inch bets. I'm from fans. Tipping is considered rude. That was like two videos ago. Mostly because it's looked at the customer saying that they're sorry you're poor. Okay. It's your boy for the three bits. I, I mean, that's just not how it is in the U.S. I think it's the opposite. Um, I already read that. Yellow, thank you for the five gifted, though. Asking their manager. Okay, hi, mister. Which one is that one? The five-layer burrito, but it's got nacho cheese in it. And you replace that with guacamole. Yo, did the Jake Paul fight happen yet? It just started. It starts in nine minutes. Bro. We're about to get reprimanded. It seemed that this conspiracy ran so deep that they had hypnotized their employees to not even remember that such an item existed. This was troubling. Stream it and risk the ban? It's not even a risk. I would immediately get banned. Mike for the sub to say the least. However, I was able to implement my smooth talking skills in order to help them remember that such an item was possible. Hello. Uh, you want pile burrito? Yeah, but with guacamole in it. Okay, normally we don't do that, but I have to do it for today, okay? Thank you. That's very nice of you. We're in. Got a couple items here. The Incredible Hulk. It's got a little bit of a slop to it. 
<laughs> that had some Bro, that looks like such a lackluster secret menu item. That's really called the Incredible Hulk. It looks like a regular burrito. Wait, hold on. Let me just give another one. Yeah, one no, wait, wait, wait. One more. Okay. Is there any guac in there? <laughs> they just didn't do it. They just didn't do it. We run in there and just start screaming at Hey, it. hey! I walk in there shaking this. What? <laughs> Yo! Dude, dude. Incredible. So it's a burrito with guacamole? Fucking L Taco Bell. What a dumbass fucking secret menu item. Hulk, kind of a hard thing to get. And if you try to get it, they probably won't know what you're talking about. Next up was the Enchirito. Can't you just say a burrito with guacamole? Which they understood immediately at the drive-thru window. However, the more challenging aspect of this was the fact they gave us no knife. This is just a sloppy beef burrito thing. What the fuck did you think it was gonna be? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> You're oh, he's on his I chin is pissing him off or pissing I... me off. Good shit. Okay, he fucking wiped it off. <laughs> Without making a mess, attack this. This is a messy... Yeah, what am I supposed to just poke at it until it breaks? There's no knife. This actually sucks. Is this even a secret menu item? It's a secret menu item, but it's so easy to make. Oh yeah, you just want a beef bream burrito and you want us to dump slop on it? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> like, like oh that's... god, why did they start with Taco Bell? Taco Bell's the worst. Talk about some fucking, yeah, go on to Chick-fil-A. A little bit clever with this one. While they did in fact have a secret menu, the catch was that you had to collect the pieces and combine it yourself, which was the case with the buffalo chicken mac and cheese. This was preferable because it allowed us to move through the drive-thru without- That's not a secret menu item! That's an assemble it yourself item! Sounding any alarms from the Dark Council. But after our mishap at Taco Bell, I knew in my soul that the Dark Council was watching. Driving with you stresses me out. Why? Because we're riding in a terminally ill vehicle. <laughs> oh, baby. Tucker, you see that? I'm going in. Going in. Yeah, bro. It's not even a secret menu item. It's just self-made. I feel like not that many restaurants have secret menu items. The Burger King ham and cheese most distinguished Burger King secret menu item. I'm not so sure what is so distinguished about a ham and cheese sandwich, but That's we fucking foul. Burger King has ham on deck. What other menu item has ham at Burger King? We're excited to figure out what that meant. What we were not prepared for, though, was for the dark council of fast food to stop us dead in our tracks. Burger King. Because they King. probably don't have ham. I'm trying to get something special right now. I heard tale of this thing where you can get a Burger King ham and cheese. Can you do that for me today? No. Why? <laughs> I'm not allowed. You're not allowed? No. Not allowed? Why would he not be allowed to serve such a dish? Could it be that he feared for yeah, his life? Yeah, it's just a ham and cheese. I'm not allowed to make a ham and cheese. That's the easiest fucking thing to make. Like, or worse, his family's life. This sounded like a cry for help, so I pressed him on the issue. Has this happened to you before? No, can you just pull forward, please? Can you have a note? What? Can you just pull forward, please? Okay. <laughs> can you pull forward, please? He leans outside of the drive through window. How the fuck did you know about the Burger King ham and cheese? I've been working here for fucking 10 years. Nobody's ever mentioned it before. How the fuck do you know about the Burger King ham and cheese? He starts fucking freaking out. He pulls out a gun. No, you don't understand how serious this is. You guys need to come with me. They open a fucking, they open a secret door to the fucking basement of Burger King. This guy, is, he's ready to start swinging. He's pissed that you had the audacity to ask. I'm looking for this thing. The Burger King ham. No, we don't have that here. You don't have that? What's the weirdest thing you got? Nothing today. All right. Well, Not have a good day. All right, thank you. See ya. That was a bust. <laughs> he looked so mad. Why did Ted look so fucking mad? Yeah. That was a bust. That guy wasn't playing along at all. Oh, this fucking dickhead won't make me a ham and cheese. This man wasn't taking any funny business. And if anything, this was the deepest evidence yet that the Dark Council was tracking our journey and hindering our efforts. We needed to reflect. So apparently the Burger King ham and cheese is not a thing. I feel like we got shot down so hard. That was like the most brutal shutdown I've ever received in my entire life. That was a cram. He was a huge cram. I feel like the only place that would have some wacky ass secret menu shit is Arby's. Because Arby's has so many fucking meats. Arby's has two... Dude, on their menu, they have the meat mountain. 
Like, not even secret. You can just order a mountain of meat. Like, they would have a weird menu because they have so many ingredients. When you go to Taco Bell and they have five fucking things, you can't really, like, make that interesting. Damn, dude. Burger King not only sucks in general, but they suck for this video, too. Our next target was Wendy's, where we wanted to acquire the legendary meat cube. Four signature Wendy's square beef patties, weighing in at a total of one pound of meat. This was not something the Dark Council wanted us to acquire. We knew it in our hearts. But we were going to do it anyways, because we're heroes. We were willing to try anything we could to recover from our last brutal denial. So, taking the secret... Yeah, that's such a low-quality image. That's... That's somebody going to Burger King, ordering a burger, and then just removing the patty and making a ham and cheese with it. Brutal denial. So, taking the secret menu website's advice to heart, we would politely ask for a Dave's Hot and Juicy One Pound Quadruple. All right, I'm a little nervous this time. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing today? Good news. Politely. Would it be okay if you guys could make me a Dave's Hot and Juicy One Pound Quadruple? Oh, could I do the triple? I don't think that worked. Oh my god, they can't just add another fucking patty. I'll give them another two dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, we only have single, double, and triple patties. Uh, all right, give me a triple and then add another patty. You fucking idiot. Like I'm gonna get mad as shit. No, I'm gonna. No, I'm actually pressed if I'm Ted. If they tell me that shit, I'm gonna say, oh yeah, no, I'm starting to fight. I'm starting a fist fight in a fucking Wendy's for that. You're telling me you can't add another patty? What is everything fucking pre-made? God damn, I know you're stacking the patties on before you give it to me. Just put another one on. I'll hold I'll give you another fucking two dollars. Well. Another they get fired? Oh my god. If they get fired, I'd start going to fucking Wendy's corporate for that shit. Brutal denial. Or so we thought. Ted? Hey, what's up? The podcast good? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I'm to make the burger. Wait, do you think you could make it the four? Huh? Could you make it the four? Oh, you know who I am? Ted the podcast guy. We'll make me a fucking quadruple. We'll make me Dave's hot and ready quadruple. Hot and sp what was it? It wasn't hot and ready. Hot and ready's Little Caesars. Now we're, we're back in. Oh my God, right in the <laughs> You've got an insider at Wendy. Tucker was right. Just when we thought that our chances were out the window and the Dark Council had won, we learned that there were agents on the inside. And they were working for us. And just like that, we were able to acquire the meat cube. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good one, man. Is she handed it to you? She goes, it's big. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy smokes. Dude. Uh, I don't know, man. That is a massive burger. Dave's hot. Oh, that looks so gross. Dude, that looks so bad. Would y'all eat that? Oh my god, that's too many patties. Dude, they should add another bun. Dude, that's just so... Oh my god, it would probably get fucking soggy as shit too. One tomato. Four beef. Dude, that's literally a pound of beef. That's a pound of beef. Two patties. What? Dude, this fucking stacked cheeses in one tomato. Juicy big boy. Slu Dude, even when I get a Baconator from Burger King sometimes, I'm like, or not Burger King, from Wendy's, I'm like, this shit's too much. Like, sometimes I'm like, Dude, I can't eat this. Bloody pie. <laughs> this is the big slut. Don't squeeze it. <laughs> you gotta squeeze it to be able to fit your mouth around it. Yeah. I can't open my mouth that way. <laughs> There's just so much fucking meat. No, 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 it tastes better than I expected, though. I was expecting a lot worse. Really? Yeah, the flavor is actually decent. It's just too much. Yeah, I think it's just the notion of it. I'm gonna do one more bite, and you're gonna do one more bite. Why, why, why? 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 You can have another bite. I'll try another bite. <laughs> you know what that was? You just wanted another bite, <laughs> and then you tried to make it into a thing where, like, I also had to take another I bite. I hope not. <laughs> All right, we're gonna split. We're gonna split this down the the middle now, and I think we're both gonna eat the entire thing, and then we're gonna give a review on it. Uh, we already fucking talked about it. No, I think no, 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 no. I th I think we need a. I think we need to cut it in half. And then no, well, actually, I think I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you a third of it, and then I'm gonna eat the other two thirds. We're gonna eat at the same time. Posterity or something. I definitely didn't want another bite. I'd rate it like a. 
like six or a seven out of ten, I guess. I'm gonna give this a four out of ten secrets. The Burger King one, that was a zero out of ten secrets. The dude was like so adamant about the fact that they do not offer that and have never offered something <laughs> of that at all. Well, because I don't even think they have ham. Like, I don't think they would be able to do that. And Schlatt! I was like, yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you. Have a good one. I think this is gonna be a bad secret menu item. All right, so we've got our bun taco today. A little bit of a dusty bun, a little bit of a sloppy, messy appearance. Not the finest special. Oh my God, is that just lettuce? Something I've ever seen, let's get a look into the food. Ooh. <laughs> they really did just hit side of a taco and put it in a bun. This is weird. Oh, oh God. <laughs> well, you know what? Oh my God, that doesn't even look good if it was on the inside of a taco. That tastes like it tastes like somebody made this at like home in like 30 minutes. You didn't take a second bite, it's not second bite worthy. No, we're not packing just this. eating bun and lettuce at that point. We're going to acquire the most legendary secret menu item to ever grace the secret menu item blog it's probably website Arby's. sphere community the meat mountain and me. Oh, that's a secret menu item? Bro, did I just mention that like 15 minutes ago? I thought that was just on their menu. Oh, that's why it's so famous. Bro, I didn't even, I thought that you could just order that. Website sphere community. The meat mount. That looks fucking disgusting. I mean, it looks, dude, okay. You, you know what's bad is that looks like bad now. And that's with, like, good imaging. You know how whenever you look at a fast food item like McDonald's or some shit, it looks, like, gross, comparable to the regular? That looks good as fuck. Wait, wait for when they get it. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait for when they get it. Wait for when they get it. Right? You're sitting there and you're like, right, oh, that looks so good, right? Because that's all mashed potatoes. This isn't even real fucking food. Some scientist made this shit for a picture. Wait until they actually have it in hand. And it's a fucking mangled, soggy meat mountain. And meat mountain is an appropriate name for this dish as it includes brisket, corned beef, chicken tenders, Angus steak, cheddar cheese, and finished off with a delicate topping of bacon. No games. It's already dark out, so this is I our- think there's, I think there's still more than what he named situation as i stood there waiting for our final secret menu item i reflected on all the secrets that we had consumed how to walk inside the arby's oh god okay. we had truly done the impossible as not many people even dare to defy the dark council our efforts and our war would finally culminate in the layers of meat damn when was the last time y'all walked into a fast food place wow before covid before covid for sure I ate a McDonald's before COVID. <sighs> Maybe 2019. Four years almost. 2019 maybe. Last week, really. You guys walk into the fast food place. Maybe like a Dunkin'. I'm talking like walk into like a McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King. Like I ain't like last time I walked into a Burger King, dude, I was probably like six. Like I have not been there forever we would consume. I went to the Arby's, the guy taking my order asked, are you sure? And here we are about to eat the meat mountain. Pretty hefty, pretty hefty. The meat mountain. Oh, oh, see, see, it's not like the picture. Mountain, pretty hefty, pretty hefty. The meat mountain. Oh, oh. See, that doesn't look as good as it did in the photo, did it, chat, or does it? Motherfucker saying that, oh, that looks good as hell. No. Where the hell even is that? Whatever. Bro, that shit looks ass. Mountain. Oh. I want to say that I've been dreading this one since the start, and I'm pleasantly surprised. I am too. The breaded chicken in there is actually really good. The cheese is good. The bacon was good. I can feel my arteries closing, though, as I chew it. I'm going to have a heart attack in my 2002 Toyota Tacoma. I've taken a second bite. Between me, Teddy Jr., and the camera, I might take a third. Really? All right, Ted, uh, I think we're going to split this one down the middle here, and I think I'm going to be taking another bite, right? Uh, you said you were taking another bite, right? I'm going to be taking one more. Uh, you we're just going to do a rough slice down the middle. You maybe give me a little bit. 
I'm going Dude. in. <laughs> Third one was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I was shoveling snow into my mouth. The fact that it exists, and when I asked the guy when I ordered it, he said, are you sure? Adds to the level of like, oh, okay. There's some secrets being Dude, uh, unfurled. Dude, I've never, I, I think I've eaten at an Arby's one time. I want to go to an Arby's and just see how it is. Like, do y'all, have y'all eaten at Arby's? And if you have, is it good? Is it good? Go post you for the sub, Mike, for the 300 bitties. Tieran and for the 300 bitties. Wanted to wish you uh, a good day, and I truly get excited when you upload. Dub! Uh, trashy for the 300 bitties. McDonald's has this thing called the McGang Bang. They definitely don't. The McGang Bang. It's a double cheeseburger with a McChicken patty in the middle. No, it's, they don't have that. C Fosh for the sub cold for the 800 bitties. Watch you on YouTube for a while. Thought I'd try and watch uh, you live loving the stream. Thank you. And Mike for the 300 bitties. It's good as fuck. Arby's is bussin. Do they really have him a gangbang? No, they don't, dude. I'm about to Google this. The McGangbang. I feel like that's too much bread, though. Three, two patties and a piece of chicken. And it looks like they made this themselves. It looks like they just got a double cheeseburger and then a McChicken and just wedged it in the middle. Like, I feel like they should remove one of the bread. Dude, even maybe both. I don't think they need four slices of bread on that. All right. I would try that, though. That does look pretty good. All right. Next video. Gorilla Vert Bro. Actually, no. Now we have to transition to the McDonald's McPizza. A huge failure. The shovel for the sub hot mans for the fucking five inch bitties. Pounders to double quarter pounders with cheese. McDonald's. From double quarter pounders to double quarter pounders with cheese, the McDonald's menu is the stuff of legend. They had a and pizza? I yeah, I know. That's why I was shocked when I saw this. Never knew McDonald's served fucking pizza. You are, it changes. If you're in Hawaii, you can order locally sourced Kona coffee. In Spain, you can get a goat cheeseburger. And in Japan, you can get a matcha green tea McFlurry. But if you're an eagle-eyed viewer- Bro! I need to get a shamrock shake. Fuck. Fuck, I need to get a shamrock shake, dude. Oh, when are those done? Or you might be noticing a delicious, cheesy, circle-shaped hole in their menu. Why doesn't McDonald's serve pizza? Shamrock shakes taste like grass. They taste like mint. What do you mean they taste like grass? You think they taste like grass because they're green. After all, McDonald's' whole thing is serving easily reproducible, people-pleasing, and iconically American foods. And if there's one thing that checks all those boxes, plus the additional box of being pizza, it's pizza. Well, it turns out that McDonald's did serve pizza for about 15 years, and it ended up being a- 15 years?! Bro, they had to do that in like the 90s or some shit. Massive, expensive failure. Why? Well, it's a bit of a long story. McDonald's first introduced the McPizza in Kentucky and Indiana in 1989. Okay, yeah, before any of us were fucking born. Ellie for the 300 bits. My grandpa died and I found out my grandpa or my grandma has cancer and I got friend zoned by, by my friend of three years, but your streams are super funny and have been really helpful. I'm sorry you're going through all of that and I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, and I hope things get better. Uh, and I'm glad my streams could help. Ellie, thank you for the 300 bitties. Riding high and looking to attract more dinnertime customers, C-Suite officials saw expanding into the $21 billion pizza industry as a sure way to make more money. McPizza was a long shot from the beginning, but it proved popular with its first two restaurants, so the company brought more pizza to more places. Uh, bro, it's the same kid. It's the same kid. Oh my god, watch my TikTok of me saying I got Joe to notice me and everybody wants me banned. Oh my god, it's the same kid now he's self-promoing. All right, now ban him. Dude, you literally said, when he said you wouldn't look at my chats like that guy wasn't me, time out three years, don't bully the dog, bro. Dude, and then your chats get, sorry for what I said earlier. And then he starts self-promoing his TikTok. And then he starts, and then he starts self-promoing his TikTok, bro. Like, I, like, do you read my chat rules? Like, you know when you, you know when you first come into the chat and you're like, okay, I'm going to type something? 
There's like a list of rules that it like shows you of like shit that you're not supposed to do. And then even then you didn't follow that. You spammed out the ass. And then he did this. Wait. Bro, I thought this was a different day. You spammed so much. Oh my God. I thought this was it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you tipped there. Dude, I only saw that. I didn't even scroll up. Your tests are so bad, bro. I'm sorry. I got to ban you. I got to ban you. Or my mods already banned you. Dude, you self promoed. You spammed. You tried to annoy me. You told me you were going to kill yourself because I didn't read your chats. Or that I wanted you to, which makes no sense. That's also just gaslighting. Yeah, I got to keep you banned, bro. I'm sorry. The company also piloted several possible... I gave you another shot, and then you just fucked it there. Wasn't that the guy from yesterday? No, that was the guy from today that said that I uh, should sell everything I have in tip servers. And then I was, like, talking to him about it. Yeah, no, not dealing with that. Ellie for the 300 bits. Oh, it's pronounced Eli. Fuck, my bad. I always find it funny how you pronounce Ellie every time I don't know. Because I, like, Ellie just, I don't know, it just makes more sense. Eli, thank you for the sub. Or not the sub, the 300 bitties. My bad. ...that would join the McPizza to create a new exclusive right, I don't give a fuck about the McPizza. I'm skipping this shit. I'm not watching a fucking goddamn six-minute video about the fucking McPizza. I will watch a six-minute video, though, about Gorilla versus Bear who would win. We've created quite a few serious sounding hypothetical military matchups in the past, so today we thought we'd tread lightly and create a kind of amusing celebrity deathmatch only with animals. Don't worry, no animals were hurt during the making of this video. The two animals seem fairly I evenly matched. I wasn't worried about that infographics show. Your videos are images, not actual filming of a bear and a fucking gorilla fist fighting. But at the same time, they have very different skill sets. In fact, the question of who would be the winner of this potentially gruesome rumble in the jungle or forest has been the subject. All right. If it, is it a brown bear or a black bear? Because brown bears are like three times the size or polar bear gorilla versus black bear. Gorilla wins gorilla versus polar bear. Gorilla loses gorilla versus brown bear. Now that's kind of an even fight of widespread disagreement all over the web and beyond we hope that the by bear solos dude a gorilla can lift like thousands of pounds like i think you don't understand how strong a fucking gorilla is pitting together these two wonderful beasts we might reveal a few interesting facts or even provoke further examination we might also remind our viewers that some of the species in this show might soon be wiped out of existence without further ado welcome to this episode species what do you mean wiped out of existence fucking gorillas and bears so to the infographic show the gorilla versus the bear don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification squad. First of all, you might be wondering what type of bear we are talking about. The polar bear, the grizzly bear, the black bear, that or the- That was the first fucking question I asked. I'm assuming they're gonna go brown bear. It's the middle of the road. Very much vertically and horizontally challenged koala bear. There are eight species of bear, none of which are likely to- Can he just say mentally challenged koala bear? In horizontally challenged koala bear? Oh, there horizontally are challenged. Eight species of bear, none of which are likely to get into a tangle with a gorilla due to a lot of reasons, but mostly because the a two species- A koala would get its shit rocked. I could beat the fuck out of a koala. Ain't no damn koala killing me. I know they're aggressive, but they're fucking tiny. Species don't hang out in each other's yards, so to speak. Today we'll choose the bear we think would make the most interesting gorilla bear battle. The what a panda. Out of every bear, a pa dude, koala bear, murk it. That thing's losing in a fist fight. A panda might kill me. And so would a brown black bear and polar bear. I think I could murk a koala. I think I might be able to kill a panda. How big is a panda? Panda size. A male panda or a female panda can weigh anywhere between 150 and 280 pounds. So yeah, 280 pounds, I might lose that one. Yeah, that's not looking good for me. Yeah, 280-pound uh, panda might, might beat the fuck out of me. Wanty for the 300 bits. It's the walkouts now, what, for the Jake Paul fight? The eight species of bear Let are... Let me know who wins. The Asiatic bear, the black bear, the brown bear, the panda bear, the polar bear, the sloth bear, the spectacled bear, and the sun bear. Okay, what the fuck? These exist? The panda bear, the most interesting gorilla bear battle. The eight species of bear are the Asiatic bear, the black bear, the brown bear, the panda bear, the polar bear, the sloth bear, the spectacled bear, and the sun bear. There are Never heard of either of these fucking three. 
But he just made three bears up. What the fuck is that one? That looks like Winnie the Pooh. Also, many more subspecies of these bears. None of these furry mammals are ever naturally involved in turf infractions with our largest great apes, although a few badly made videos attempt to show such a thing. There are two gorilla species and four subspecies. The two species are the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla. The eastern species includes the mountain gorilla and the eastern lowland gorilla. The western species includes the cross river gorilla and the western lowland gorilla. Yo, you know the one animal that looks weird as fuck? Orangutans. Orangutans got the fucking wide ass faces. Bro, they're scary when they got those big faces like this shit. Because some of them don't. Yeah, I think it's the male, it's like the men and the women. Like, this is like a normal orangutan, right? And they're like, oh, little cute orangutan. And then when they grow up, bro, then they got these like pads that like stick out on their face. Like, what is that for? Like, I feel like that just blocks vision, if anything. Although these great apes are residents of Central Africa, and while similar, they do have noticeable differences regarding size, facial features, body hair, and skin tone. So, who should we choose? Why not the biggest of the bunch, which is the Eastern Gorilla? Okay, the biggest a polar bear fucking tanking a gorilla. That's an unfair matchup. Dude, polar bears can weigh like 1,200 pounds, and they stand like 9 feet tall. That's just unfair. That's like, that's like making a lightweight fight a heavyweight. This bear is the polar bear, but because this matchup seems too ridiculous to believe, we are going to say the grizzly bear. The grizzly okay, sometimes- Okay, good shit. Yeah, a polar bear. A polar bear- Bro, how much does a polar bear weigh? A polar bear can weigh up to 990 pounds. Like, that's- And they're 8 feet tall. Uh, and then there's a silverback gorilla. Those weigh- Yeah, 430. Bro, that's also that, that's just an unfair that's an unfair matchup. They would never win. A polar bear would uh, would beat the shit out of a gorilla. Grows as big as a polar bear, and both aesthetically and geographically, the fight makes more sense. The eastern gorilla is the biggest of all primates. The adult males, known as silverbacks, are in the gorilla world pretty big dudes, weighing around 440 pounds and standing about five feet five inches. As for grizzly bears, that yeah, have but he got that block build. <laughs> but he got that block build. Five five four forty. Ooh. Oh, five, five, four, forty. Damn. Damn. But he's more wide than he is tall. I've been endowed with a fairly large four forty. Dude, he must be big as shit. Stature. They Dude, I gotta look up a regular gorilla. I gotta look up a fucking big, big silverback gorilla. Dude, they gotta be wide as hell. Oh, yeah, they got that fucking stance. Oh, they got that fucking stance. Oh, nah. Dude, yo, I don't know. I, I feel like if you gave me, like, oh, how would I how would I beat a gorilla in a fight? I mean, a gun, obviously. Dude, even a spear, I don't think I would win. If you gave me a spear, I think I would stab it, and it would just eat that shit. I think it would, it would eat a spear and then just fucking rip my head off. I would not be able to. A katana? I don't even think a katana you would win. I think it would disarm you. Dude, they're so big. And their bones are probably thick as fuck. Pew pew for the sub. It can weigh around 790 pounds, and when standing, can be as tall as 10 feet. We must note that there are many kinds of grizzly bears. Right, 440 versus 790. Bears, all of which are kinds of brown bears, so it's possible to find one that makes the weight for a 440 pound weight limit in the animal fight of the century. A 400 pound grizzly would be a small one, but it would still have the advantage of coming to the fight legally equipped with a bunch of very sharp knives. Oh, gorilla they're doing it 440 versus 440? Dude, same weight, the gorilla wins. Opposable thumbs, opposable thumbs, sheer strength. You're really going to, no, that's an unfair matchup now in the gorilla favor. 440, you still think the bear wins? Gorillas usually they have swords as paws. Dude, their claws are five inches. A lot longer, they can escape being hunted by pesky people, of course, at around 35 to 40 years old. Grizzlies generally live to about 25 years. For the purpose of the hypothetical punch-up, we'll pick two strapping adults in their prime. Ding, ding, round one. The consensus is that the gorilla is one of the strongest animals on the planet, able to lift something close to 10 times its own body weight. That's around 4,400 pounds, enough to easily get a grizzly out of its stance. Again... Times its own body weight. That's around 4,400 pounds. Enough. That's a car. It wait. A gorilla could pick up a car.
times its own. This is that the gorilla is one of the strongest animals on the planet, able to lift something close to 10 times its own body weight. How that's do they know it can lift 4,000 pounds? What the fuck is it lifting that's 4,000 pounds? Around 4,400 pounds, enough to easily get it. Dude, how much does like a fucking smart car weigh? Bro, oh my, okay, what's a heavier car? How much does a Ford F-150? Wait. It could pick up a small Ford F-150. By weight. A grizzly out of its stance. Again, it all depends on the size of the bear. An inland 440 pound grizzly- Yo, you give me like, you give me like two, three months of dedicated work at the gym. I find my motivation back, bro. I'll be there. I'll be there. You give me like, Give me like two, three months. Like I actually start dieting again. Like I stopped trying to maintain for the last like four years. You give me like, you give me like a bit, you know, I'll, I'll get back up there. Might get thrown around with ease, but not so much a 1300 pound giant coastal grizzly that would look like a refrigerator to a medium sized poodle. Grizzly bears are not as strong as gorillas, but when their strength was tested in a study at Montana University, it was found that they were very able to flip around a 700 pound dumpster. Yeah, That's weak enough strength. Fuck. Yeah, weak as fuck. Yeah, buddy, could have done that one in my sleep. But he lifts 700 pound fucking in a dumpster. But he only could flip it. All right. But he topples that shit over. Yeah, if I you give me enough leverage, I'll push that shit over. To throw its gorilla. Fucking weak. Opponent from tree to tree. The important thing to note is that an equal weight gorilla would be relying on its superior strength, which has been documented in videos showing the primates pulling down trees and dragging humans as if they were nothing but twigs. The bear, on the other hand, pulling would down trees. Dude, what low quality ass video is this? Bro, I need to see him fucking rip a tree. Silverback gorilla breaks banana tree. You see? They put the seat. You see? Yeah, to be able to rip a banana tree out of the fucking ground, you probably gotta be pretty strong. Oh, he's just oh, no. ripping it. But he's peeling bana the banana tree like a banana. It is a weaker tree. When they when he said that, I was expecting him to like push over an oak tree. Like that would have been nuts. Gorilla, gorilla strength video. G gorilla just strength display. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck was that noise? Dude, it's creepy that they're so human looking. Like they walk and they have like thumbs and shit. Oh my god, dude, it's so weird. It's so fucking weird. Dude, they probably hate their lives in there. See, that's what I feel bad about. Like, whenever you see, like, like just any, any hyper-intelligent animal in a zoo, I feel so bad. <sighs> like, when it's, like, some dumb shit, like a bird, or, like, what's, like, a dumb animal? Oh, fuck. Like, when you see, like, some stupid shit, like, I don't give a fuck about that being in a zoo, right? Like, it don't care. But, like, like a pig. Like, if you go to, like, a petting zoo and there's a pig, like, nobody gives a shit. But... When you see something smart, I'm like, fuck, that's like sad. Quadingle for the thousand biddies. What animal 
would you want to be if you had to choose? Outside of being human, the shovel for the 300 bitties. Could do that in my sleep, light work, waiting for the 300 bits. Uh, had a shitty day. Uh, you really made my day after a shitty day. Thank you. Also, if gorillas had the brain capacity to work out, they would take over the earth. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Not even work out. No, if they were as smart as us. Pew pew for the sub. Wanty for the 300 bits. Uh, if I could be any animal, chat, if you could be any animal other than a human. Probably a dolphin, an octopus, or... Um... Maybe a Greenland shark. Because the Greenland shark lives a thousand years. Two hundred and fifty to five hundred years. But they also have like the slowest metabolism and do almost nothing. Um so I'm gonna go probably a dolphin. Probably a dolphin. How long do dolphin dolphin lifespan? They have like thirty years, right? An orca whale can live to ninety. I'm gonna be an orca whale. But not the one that's in SeaWorld. Harry for the three inch bets. Would you ever get a pet monkey? No. Would be relying on its armory. In other words, its killer claws and meat shredding teeth. A grizzly has 42 teeth, some of which were designed to rip through flesh. The gorilla, on the other hand, has 32 teeth with very large, scary looking. Yo, Chad, I gotta post on TikTok one or two. Oh, wait, no, I actually gotta post this video. Never mind. It was one, anybody. Or it was one. Everybody was voting two. Whatever. Sorry, chat. Thanks. That's part of the reason they have fangs, apparently, just to scare things. Unlike the bear, the gorilla uses its teeth to eat plants. This has a benefit, though, in terms of our fight, and that is that some of those plants are pretty damn tough. Imagine biting through a bamboo shoot sandwich. Lists have appeared featuring the strongest animal bites, which is measured by pound per square inch or PSI. On one list, the grizzly bear came in seventh with a PSI of 1250, but the gorilla took fifth spot with a PSI of 1300. While the peaceful gorilla is said to be not too keen on fighting, if the bear got close to its family, you can bet those 1300 PSI giant fangs would soon come into play. Still, the bear also comes strapped with long claws that can grow up to five inches. For a gorilla, this would look something like a nightmare on Nature Street. It's been said that a grizzly bear can decapitate a moose with one swipe. While there is little evidence to back this up, most believers in- There's no fucking way a bear could decapitate a moose with one swipe. Dude, through the skull, through the brain, no, not through the brain, through the fucking spinal cord, in the One Swipe Wonder Bear, cite a study by American biologist Dr. Jacob McDonaldson. The good doctor wrote that he had marveled such a bloody feat. A gorilla is pretty fast, able to run what up to their speeds. What claws of look like? Bear claws. Like, I've never seen them up close. Dude, they don't even look that sharp. I mean, but it's also like they don't look that big, but it's also in that fucking thick ass hand. Like, those, those are probably massive. And we just can't even fuck it because you're, you're trying to compare it to the size of their paw, but their paw is like a fucking foot long. Of 25 miles per hour, but a bear can get up to speeds of around 35 miles per hour. Neither of our contestants are running away, so it doesn't really matter. The question is, who is the most agile? Science doesn't have the answers, but if you believe martial arts enthusiast and podcast philosopher Joe Rogan, the two are evenly matched with the gorilla possibly having superior speed and agility. The outcome would likely depend solely on if the bear could get a potentially life-ending strike in before the gorilla could get in close and pull the bear's jaw apart with its nimble fingers and very strong hands. Pull the hands. bear's jaw apart? Fucking... Oh my god, ripping that bitch open. Dude, I thought the bear would get on its back. Imagine attacking Joe Rogan with a knife in each hand, you could still end up the loser. A lot of emphasis has been put on the bear being a carnivore and the gorilla being an herbivore, but this shouldn't really matter as the gorilla is obviously capable of protecting itself and its family. In terms of diet affecting strength and bloodlust, some people say that Genghis Khan was a vegetarian. Unfortunately, this hypothetical fight has not been debated by many actual scientists and probably never will if they want to keep their day jobs. The closest to expert commentary out there seems a little biased as it comes from a Yellowstone National Park park bear biologist. His assertion was, make no mistake, the bear would win. Astrophysicist and general expert- Yeah, all right, but his name is probably like fucking Steven. Uh, yeah, make no mistake, the bear would win. Okay, dickhead. 
All right, yeah, you fucking observing the Yellowstone National Park. When have you ever seen a fucking gorilla? In many things scientific, Neil deGrasse Tyson was once asked who would win in this fight. His answer, to paraphrase him, was the bigger foe in nature generally comes out the winner. He did add, exceptions could change the balance of power, but his money was on the four-legged mammalian with the history of mortal combat. One thing we know is that we want to keep all the gorillas- Mammalian? Four-legged mammalian. Is that the bear? we have, seeing that all species and subspecies are now critically endangered. The beautiful animals share 98.3% of their DNA with humans and are the closest to us after chimpanzees and bonobos. Humans are the greatest threat to gorillas, destroying their habitat and turning them into meat. The gorilla in question today, the eastern lowland gorilla, has a precarious existence. It's thought there are only about 4,000 of them left, while there are only around 880 eastern mountain gorillas living in the wild. On that note, we come to the end of today's show. We hope you've had fun- They ain't even say who would win! And say who would win! What? What? Oh my god! All right, now I gotta do. Now we gotta do this shit ourselves. Yo, that's such bullshit. Gorilla versus bear. Who would actually win? Bro, I'm trying to watch like, yeah, here we go. And a, while silverback gorillas have nails on their fingers and power, do you think would win in a scenario? Bro, no video ever actually gives a definitive answer. Well, because you can't really do that. But I feel like if it's a, if they're equal weight, if they're equal weight, the bear, the, the bear loses. If it's just natural habitat, 440 pound gorilla versus 800 pound black bear, or brown bear. The brown bear is going to win. If they're equal weight, though, I think it's a gorilla, no doubt. No doubt. Hold on, what is this? All right. Next video. Actually, we'll just... Ugh, I'll save this video for later. We'll save the problem with nice people for another day. We'll watch Shudder. Are y'all ready for a horror film? Oscar for the sub. Henry for the thousand biddies. And Henry for the 300 biddies as well. 1300 biddies prop for the 300 bits. Have you seen Cocaine Bear? I have not. I said I did on Twitter, but I was joking. All right. We'll save how... Uh, do you guys want to watch that video first? Nah, we'll just save that for another day. The problem with nice people, we'll save for another day. Because we're already three hours in... Three and a half hours into the stream. We got an eight-minute fucking horror video. Hold on. Which will be a fucking 20-minute video with my shit. Bro uses Twitter. I tweet, like, once every other month. I have, like, 10K followers on Twitter. I, like, barely use that shit. All right. Ugh. Shudder. Short horror film. Everybody lock in. Everybody lock in. Stream on kick. No. Yo, like, why are so many people trying to, like, say to stream on kick? Like, let's just do a, a quick kick.com search. The biggest streamer on kick right now is gambling. The next biggest streamer is also gambling. The next biggest streamer is also gambling. The next biggest streamer is illegally streaming the Jake Paul fight. The next biggest streamer is laying down watching YouTube videos. Bro, he's really streaming the, the Jake Paul fight. I'm literally watching it right now in Keck. That is actually so crazy. That's so illegal. That's like literally so illegal. That's just, oh my God, he's probably going to get sued for that. Aren't, aren't there streamers that show porn on kick? Isn't that, like, not against TOS on kick? You just show porn. There's, like, people that do that. Didn't Aiden do that? <laughs> Aiden Ross showed porn. Yeah, there's a lot of streamers that did that. All right, anybody's lock in. Every, anybody's lock in, chat. Done with that shit. Shutter short horror film. Why do I always have to be the one to pick you up? Because you're my boyfriend and you're supposed to do whatever I say. Is that right? That is right. It's what you signed up for, David. Well, you are beautiful, so I guess that makes it okay. Why, thank you. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm in the elevator. I might lose service. Nah, what is she looking at? You know, usually when a guy tells a girl she... I would immediately assume that somebody that escaped a mental ward. If I saw somebody in a hospital-esque robe, I would think they escaped a mental institution and that they're, like, 
just kind of on the run. Like, no one else would be. I would not think that was paranormal. Usually when a guy is talking to a girl, she's beautiful. I think it is appreciated. But, you know, maybe you could throw a compliment back my way. It would also be appreciated. It's not necessary, of course, but it would be nice. Anyway, remind me how beautiful you are, Lydia. Can you send me a picture? Remind me how beautiful you are. Can you send me a picture? Meanwhile, she's staring at some fucking woman that's about to rush her. Imagine she starts running. Lydia? I'll fucking freak out. Oh, God. Lydia. Yeah. Lydia. Yeah. Bro, is that sound yeah, with that weird hobble? ass hobble? No, sorry, I, I I just saw something kind of weird. No, it's okay. So can you send me a picture? Remind me of your beauty and why I'm picking you up. Bro, this guy's weird as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's can you send me a picture of yourself? Remind me why you're so beautiful and I'm picking you up. Buddy, just wait till you fucking see her. You're gonna see her in like two minutes. Can you send me a photo of your face? She's gonna be in the background. All right, you get it? Oh, there's gonna be yeah. a woman behind her. Well, don't sound so unimpressed, David. I can't always look great. No, it's not that, it's just- What, is my hair weird? Look, I don't want to freak you out, but- Is there someone behind you? No, there's no one behind me. Um, look at the picture you just sent me. Okay. Are you looking at it? Yeah, I don't see anything. Zoom in to the bottom left corner. No! 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 Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. I'd run. I would immediately start running. Dude, they're gonna be right fucking behind you. She's gonna look up. It's gonna be right. It's gonna be standing right behind her. It's gonna fucking choke her out. <sighs> She's gonna get off her phone. It's gonna fucking snap her neck or some shit. That's strange. Is there someone there with you? No. Photo bombed by a ghost, huh? I'll say. All right. Well, hey, I'll be there soon. Okay. Pick you up in the usual spot. Yo, he might die first, street, actually. Great. Yeah, I'll be there. Pick right. you up in the usual spot. This is just so... What, what weird-ass conversation is this? Henry for the thousand biddies. That's not for the ten. Been watching YouTube forever. Started tuning into the streams. No homo. Love you, bro. Thank you. I thank you for the ten dollars. I, I can't see your user because Streamlabs glitched, but thank you for the ten. Bye, Lydia. Bye, David. Why is she not freaking out? Like, I, like would you guys be able to stay calm if somebody was in the fucking photo that you took? Did you not like my bangs or something? It's right behind her. 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 Bro. Bro. I'm going to be watching that bitch in the Hey, camera. I see you. No, stop turning Bro, around I like that. Bro, I just saw you. you. That's going to be right next to her. Bro, come on. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. Why would you ever rush them? I'm going to run away. Why would you hey go girl, towards whoever it? whoever you are, this is not cute. I'm not amused. This whole photobomb thing, knock it off and leave me alone. Photobomb? Buddy, she's stalking you. Yo, is, it, is that the thickest fucking palm tree y'all have ever seen? My God. Why is it so wide? Is that a palm tree? It's only showing up on our camera. Yeah, she got to pull out her phone again. That's what I would do. I would be like, okay, it's on my phone. It's going to be right next to ah! Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. You got to hit her with the fucking roundhouse. You got to hit her with the fucking roundhouse. Drop the phone. Fucking drop the phone. Drop the phone. Duck right into the fucking gut. 
right into the fucking gut, dude. Leave me alone! Oh, you're dumb as fuck. It was literally running right at, at you. What do you think she got away and went behind that fucking corner? That's like 40 yards away. Bro, walk to... Oh, my God. Gotcha. Oh. My God, dude, I'm getting so nervous. I'm getting so nervous. I'm getting so nervous. I'm getting so nervous. Oh my God, I don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. I don't like this one at all. This one's actually scary. <sighs> Can I stay with you? Can I stay? Yeah, sure thing. Fucking, yo, fucking brass knuckles. Slip those bitches on in my pocket. Yeah, sure thing. <sighs> Fucking break her nose. No. 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 Fucking haymaker. Just all or nothing. Fucking skull crush. Oh, she's gonna be like dead in the parking lot. Oh, she's right there. Something's wrong with her though. She probably possessed her. Someone looks happy to see me. Are you getting in? Oh, never getting out of the car. Never getting out. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, GGWP. GGWP, you're a fucking idiot. Yo, I'm never getting out of that car. I'm keeping those doors locked. I'm going to crack the window. I'm going to crack the window. I'm going to be speaking out of that shit. It's going to be cracking. Be... Yo, you good? Yo, you good? You good? And if the no response, all right, I'm driving away. No response? All right, I'm driving away. Nope. Yo, you're a dumbass. What, are you about to go poker? Oh, you're a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. He's so dead. What's up, baby? Hey. Stop. Stop. Oh, she pissed herself. Oh my oh, god, Lydia, what? Oh, Lydia, Lydia, you know you have to save that for later. Lydia, Lydia, what happened to the golden shower we are talking about later? My god, Lydia. It's fine, I got a 32 ounce, I got a 32 ounce big gulp in the car, okay? Well, <laughs> collect it, no, hold up, yeah, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, hold up, get a water bottle. Henry from 300 Bits. At Ken and George for the sub. Liam for the sub. What is going on? Lydia. Lydia. Lydia, you know we were going to bottle that. Okay. I'm going to have to take you to the hospital or something. Um, I, hold on a sec, okay? Just wait here. I don't think she's moving anyway. She better rush in, bro. Okay. Oh, don't grab her. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, don't put her in the car. Nah, I'm a letter pisser pants. I'm a letter pisser pants and I'm dipping. I'm a, yo, I'll call an ambulance too there. I'm not taking her to the hospital. I'll say, uh, yeah, buddy, uh, third parking spot here. Uh, I'm going to leave. Uh, she just pissed herself in the parking lot. She refuses to talk to me and she's not moving. Uh, I'm not fucking with that shit. Bro, she's covered in piss now. Yo, make sure to, like, lay down some plastic wrap or something, because you just pissed all over the fucking car seats. She's going to stab him or some shit, bro. Okay, I just have to ask, did you take something, Lydia? Are we going to the hospital? Yeah, you're acting so bizarre. I don't know what to do. I don't want to go to the hospital. Bye, girl. Thank you.
It's probably that spirit gets put in the hospital every time breaks out and then and then harbors in somebody. Dude, what is this fucking noise that they're playing? Are we gonna go to hospital? Yeah, you're not well. Oh my god, just tell her you're going to a fucking 7 Eleven or some shit. Lie to her. Lie to her. You fucking idiot. She said she didn't want to go to the hospital. Yeah, we're going to 7 Eleven. We're going to get a big gulp. I don't want to go to hospital. I, I heard you. I don't want to go to hospital. All right, we're not going to the hospital. We're going to a fucking Wendy's. Gas it. Ooh, I don't think that was a good crack sound. Oh, don't run the red light. Oh, don't run the red light now. You're running the red light actively. You're running the red light. Up oh, and it's done. All right, what's the lady? We'll watch one more. We'll watch one more. Colin for the fucking 300 biddies. Uh, BDO for the sub. That was a good ass video. Uh, me and my friend made a short film, uh, making fun of short films. We were wondering if you could react to it as the last video of stream. No. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not. I, okay, that came off as rude. Uh, send it in the video suggestion tab. I might check it out. Uh, but I don't like when people try to recommend vi me videos on stream because it tries to pressure me to watch the video. Uh, rather than rather than me procreate or, or, or creating the video for today, um... People always just, like, try and slide in a video that they want me to watch. So then I just say yes. Uh, so, sorry, but send it in the video suggestion tab. I might watch it. Um, actually, do you guys want to watch it? See, this is what they always do. This is what every time, every time. Can you watch this? I'll scan it. I'll, I'll literally give it a quick scan. God damn it. I don't like doing this, though, because then people always just try and recommend it. Um... Bro, uh, Broid for the sub, Lo uh, Loaf for the 300 bitties. After you eat pizza, has there ever been a certain smell that's left on your top lip? Yes. The top lip smell after eating a good pizza is so foul. It's like the cheese smell. But it doesn't smell like cheese. It smells like the aftermath of cheese. I fucking hate it. Official for the 300 bitties. I have around 2 million followers on TikTok. I was wondering if you had any advice on how I can move some of the audience to Twitch like you did. Uh, you got to start streaming consistently, number one. You got to build a base following here. Um, you could go into a segmented thing. You could do variety. It's whatever you want. Henry for the 300 bets. Uh, watch the box, Joe. What do you mean the box? And again, if you have a video you want to send me, send it in the video suggestion tab, please. I will not be taking any more suggestions today. You can send them in the video suggestion tab. Um, just because then people try and recommend me videos uh, so they hope I watch it that day rather than actually scanning it and deciding I don't want to watch it. Uh, the video that you told me to watch, though, is literally premiering. It's not even out. Uh, I don't want to watch it live. I would rather watch it. Um... Hey, dog, I'm at the drop spot. All right, bet. See you in five. Hurry up. Some art crime suspect is residing at this address. Right? Um, based on some you know recent information that we got, he was moving eastbound this way, um, at a car down, and he said, "You're gonna win a buddy seat, right?" We're doing the one arm bench press. You gotta get the double there, bro. Wait, who are you? Wait, no, please. Is this a school project? You're like a brother to me, Carlos. My brother, how many events? All right. Oh, dude, dude, you got to send it in the suggestion tab because I, I'm going to be skipping around. I'm not going to be watching this whole thing because I'm about to end my stream after this video. All right. Henry from the 300 Bettys. I'm not trying to be a dick. I, I, I didn't even watch the entire video. I'm just saying. It seems like a school project that you want me to watch. 
I mean, it's just, like, yeah, like, I, I don't know. Uh, but, I mean, I'll check it out another day. Uh, maybe. Not a guarantee. But that's why I would just rather have you send it in the video suggestion tab uh, so I can decide whether or not I want to watch it then rather than kind of, like, asking me to watch it while I'm live. Just because most of the videos that people try to ask me to watch while I'm live, I end up skipping around like I just did or I end up just not wanting to watch them. The lady. Yo, how's the Jake Paul fight, chat? Is it good? After Scream, I might have to tune into the last minutes of it. I hope it doesn't end. Jake already won? Are you fucking kidding me? The lady. Jake already won? Stop, don't lie. The fight's still going on. Okay, good. I hope nobody gets knocked out. Yeah, if that's literally showing up on my fucking ring doorbell... I'm immediately calling the cops. But he's sitting there. You got some weird-ass demon in a fucking dress trying to break in. What is she doing in front of the fucking door? Hey. Hello? Hello? Bro, she's scratching the door? Nah. Bro, I think they're on crack or some shit. She about to rush the camera. What? Oh my God. If you don't leave, I'm going to call the cops. Bro, you should call the cops now. Why are you waiting? She's scratching your door. Hey, did you hear me? Dude, watch, you got that weird ass painting. I said too. I was gonna call the cops. Bro, I'd already, I'd press a fucking, I'd press a goddamn Valorant shorty against the door. That's what I'm doing. I'm pressing a sawed off shotgun right against the door. I'm gonna say, you hear that? I'm gonna, it's gonna go. So you hear that sound right there? Boom. That's the sound of a 12 gauge pressed against this wooden door. And don't worry, the door will not stop the 12 gauge's bullet, right? So you're going to back the fuck up where I'm going to press the goddamn trigger, okay? Like that like that that's immediately how you get somebody to fucking leave. The butt of a gun just press that bitch. What the fuck? No, she's in the house already. And you open the door like a fucking idiot. And you open the door like a fucking idiot. It's in her house now. It is in her house. Like, look at that painting. Who the fuck would have that in their house? That thing's creepy as fuck. Dude, as long as she's still outside, I wouldn't be worried. I would just let it. I would just let it sit. No, stop, 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 stop. Hey, I saw you. Are you fucking stupid? You open the door again. Nah, kill her. Nah, kill her. Nah, kill her. It don't even matter. Yeah, she's right there, bro. It don't even matter. She's already dead as fuck. Yeah, GG's. You're dumb as fuck. Open the door for what? I'm already leaving, bro. No, not dealing with that. Yeah, you literally, you just turned away, too. She could have just snuck in. Even if she wasn't paranormal. Yeah, now you're dead as fuck. And I'm not even going to be surprised. She got this weird-ass pivoting camera in her living room, too. My God. She's going to appear right here. She's going to walk right by. I'm hiding behind my mic because I'm scared. I'm talking out of this because I'm scared, chat. When I speak, I'm not as scared. It's inside. It's inside. She sees it. It's staring at her. It has red eyes. 
and now it's not there anymore. I'm jumping out the window. At that point, that's my plan of strategy, right? Or that, that That's my plan there. I, if I'm fucking stuck in here, right, and I've already fucked up multiple times, I already let her in the fucking house, all this other shit, I'm jumping out the window, right? GGWP, you own this house now. I'm out. Nope. Yeah, and wander towards it like a fucking idiot. Yeah, close yourself in. It's probably in that. It's, it's probably in your room now. No, dude. It's going to start scratching on that door. Dude, she's not nervous. You're kidding me. You go back to bed. I wouldn't sleep for days. Oh, God. It's going to be in the bed with her. Bro, sleeping above the covers. above you oh no oh you're so dead it's in your room now oh Bro, she got that wooden baseball bat like that's gonna do some shit oh god it's above her it's on the ceiling there's no doubt it's on the ceiling. Under the bed. Check under the bed. Check under the bed. Check under the bed. <coughs> oh, she didn't check under the bed. See, that's why you got to check under the bed before you go to bed, chat. Oh, God. Not the fuck. Yo, GGWP, bro. No, 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 no. no. Damn, bitch, you smell. <laughs> Maybe they're just having like a slumber party down there or something. That's Momo. Why the fuck did it just show Momo there? It just showed Momo. Flashing. All right, whatever. That was a good video, though. It's Needle for the sub. I was, it was a meh ending, though. I fucked with that. I got a sub to them. Alexander the Titan. They make some good horror videos. Okay. Yo, that was a W stream chat. Waiting for the 300 biddies. Henry for the 300 biddies. I will catch y'all tomorrow. Uh, we will be live tomorrow at uh, 4.30 p.m. EST. We're going to be doing Minecraft. Uh, continuing the hardcore world. Uh, Tuesday, we're going to be live. Or wait, Tuesday, I won't be live. So Monday, tomorrow, 4.30 p.m. EST. Minecraft, Tuesday off. Wednesday, uh, probably around 4, 4.30, we're going to start Sons of the Forest with Zeusy. Uh, Thursday, we're going to be doing an FMV game, maybe, uh, alongside some Fortnite or Val, depending. Uh, Friday, we are going to be doing reactions. Uh, Saturday, we're going to continue and probably do our last police sim stream. Maybe one more after that. I don't know for sure. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun watching the stream. W stream in the chat. I appreciate everybody that came out into the stream. We had a bunch of people here today, a bunch of chatters. Uh, and I appreciate everybody that came out and I hope I entertained you. Uh, and I hope to catch you in future streams. Make sure to join the Discord, exclamation point Discord. You guys can send me videos for me to react to on React Days, uh, which are Fridays and Sundays. Uh, or you can send me games to play in the game suggestion tab. Either way, I will catch you all tomorrow for Minecraft. Uh, and we are going to raid uh, Sodas. Uh, they're playing Sea of Thieves. But yeah, hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I had a fun time streaming, and I'll catch you all later. Uh, 4.30 p.m. EST. I'm going to upload on YouTube in about an hour uh, as well, so if you guys want to catch that. But yeah, hope you guys had fun watching the stream, and I will catch y'all later. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.